uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> I feel stupid. Oh man, this is a huge canvas. I did not mean to pick that. Mm, and then I'll send the link out. Then I'll send the link out. I will, I will, I will, I will. Oh yeah, you know. You know how it is. Okay. <laughs> oh, hi, B. Hello, beloved. You popped in just in time to see me set up the stream live. Okay, I got the, I got the little link. I keep reaching for my mouse and I don't have my mouse right now because I'm not at the dorm. Okay, I have my link. I need to post it and then send it out. Oh, the music. I've decided to play Ride the Cyclone. Just the entire musical. I mean, why not? It's been stuck in my head all week, so we're starting from the beginning. Hey. Okay. So that'll play at a weird volume while I set everything up. Anyway, B, how you doing? How you feeling? You feeling any better? Oh god, the dog. I might have to mute in a second. <laughs> okay, yeah, hold on. I'm gonna go on mute. And with that, I am back, and now I have a coffee. I cannot be stopped. Mm. Okay, uh, the link, it needs to be posted. draft posts ever. I've never was able to. Oh, you know what? I have the stream paused on my phone, so maybe the chat didn't... No, I'm just stupid. Hello. I am the amazing Kai. I was designed to predict... The Hello, Link. I'm Jez. <laughs> Hi, so Jez. No a good time. And uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. That the only thing that makes less money than theater uh, is releasing an album on a streaming service. Nordic. What are other, yes, like, Nordic associated tags I can slap on this post and just get it everywhere? Future rotations. You are Nor five Nordic 5. And then I'm just going to tag, I'm going to tag all of them. Sweden. Because of your 
absurd insistence that sound technology in had not progressed since the year 1877. Who's next? Denmark. Norway. Pot multiple times. Iceland. Openly in the fetal position. One step okay. closer to that realization. Percy, what, what? Just Finally got to light the bridge on fire today. Indeed. Good for him. That's what that post meant. Okay. I saw you I saw you say something like that in the Discord right before I started stream and I was very confused. <laughs> like why did the entire country Why did the entire country burn down a bridge? Is like figuratively or Okay, so I posted the link. While I'm on my blog, I'm going to find my old drawing I did for the body type head cannons. Um so I could see what I did for Finn because I remember I, I don't have the file anymore. Nat on a Nat twenty two. Oh my god. Flex. Okay. Uh, right. I didn't like how Finland turned out in the last body type head cannon thing. Like he looks fine, but recently I've been drawing him a specific way. So I'm going to use that as my background knowledge. Oh, also, like, once again, tell me if the music is too loud or too low or whatever. We are, I found it! We are, in fact, listening to musicals right now. I forgot for the last body type head cannon thing, I refused to draw feet. Oh, that's really funny of me. Okay, I'm just going to actually leave my blog open in case I need to grab more rep. Do you want me to post it in Discord, Percy? The height thingy you did last time? Oh, no, I got it. Don't worry. I found it. I appreciate the thought, though. And... Uh, and I already... Okay. I already kind of... Oh, have... Think, hold on, let me delete that. I don't need that anymore. I kind of have their height set up too, with each color representing each man. So, it's Sweden, Denmark, Norway, Iceland, Finland. Jez, I liked your idea of Iceland being taller than Finland so much that you sent in the height chart last night. I, I had I had to take it. <laughs> it was really funny. Oh, I need to post the stream link in the Discord. Hold on, I completely shut off Discord before stream. <laughs> okay, hold on. I, I guess I'm still setting up, so stream still starting soon. Why is my computer verifying Discord? I've used her before, man. Oh my god, this is so good. So, part of the reason why stream is kind of running late today, which is becoming a trend, I should really just push it back to 1.30 period. No, that wouldn't make a difference. I'd still push it. Anyway, so right, like, literally half an hour before stream, my mom comes up to me and she goes, I want coffee. Do you want to go get coffee? And I'm like, what? It's mid. It's midday. And she goes, yeah, you want coffee? I'm like, yes, absolutely. I'm not going to ask anymore. So, <laughs> and there's a, there's a coffee shop right by our house. So we figured, oh, we can go run in, get there, grab the coffee and leave. And <laughs> we, we were making great time actually. But then we get into the drive-thru and mom reaches for her wallet because she had like a gift card. She forgot it. She forgot her wallet. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> so we ordered our drinks, realized we didn't have money. We pulled up to the window. Wait. Okay. Sorry, I had to get that out. Um, but yeah, we tell the people, the baristas, like, hey, we don't have our, we don't have money. We don't have our wallets. 
can you hold our drinks and we'll be back in like five minutes? So my mom came in earlier and gave me the coffee I had ordered. <laughs> they actually held on to it. It was so funny. That's why I was on mute. Mm. Anyway. And I see the pictures you have sent in the dis- Oh, right, the link. Gendo is what the coroner said. They found my body, not my head. I'm playing off being- I'm saying that I can play this musical because it's quite spooky. And I feel like I can pass it off as like a Halloween theme. You know? Okay. Oh, I'm clicking everything wrong. I've drawn their heights a lot before. I know I have, but um, I never actually put numbers to them. I did in that one drawing you sent of Sweden and Finland holding hands, but then I changed. Oh, hey, Tex. Oh wait, the coffee probably was worth it though. Oh no, I'm drinking it. I got a... No one at me. I genuinely love pumpkin flavored things. So I got a pumpkin cold brew with cream on top. Or a cold brew with pumpkin cream on top. And it's so good. It's so good. It is delicious. It is worth it. Mmm. Oh, that is just a chunk of ice. Okay. Hey Tex, um, this is... I'm not here. Yes, that is Jane. I'm playing the entirety of Ride the Cyclone because I want to. Uh, but Tex, we're doing body type head cannons for the Nordics. So I have their coffee- coffees. Some are born to lose. I have their colors and their heights. So we're going to do uh, body types. Let me pull up the reference. I pulled up a fin. Transform a movie. No thanks, I don't want it super sized. That's a stream. <laughs> okay, Jess, that's pretty funny. Okay, I think because I have Finn, I'm gonna start with him, and he should be right here. Maybe steal hook caps, maybe steal booze. Homemade tattoos. I sent mine. Oh yeah, no, I saw. I saw it. I shot him. Maybe that was a bit harsh. Love you. This kid doesn't have an attention span. Okay, so we're starting pretty big, but I'll shrink the body as we go along. So, Finn, I'm going to turn the music down a little bit. But Ice is a lanky boy. I kind of... No, yeah, you're right. I, f I can see it. So... So for Finn, I've already talked about it, and it's in my reference window down here, which I know y'all can't see, but... Recently I've been drawing him really round. And again, I'll shrink. Like... Like with a belly. I, I see Finn as having a belly. So like... She's a freaking monster. And just because I say so, he has these little like... Rolls right here on his underarms. I simply... I sim that is simply fact. He's still strong, I like to think. You could do stick figure Sweden next to your real Sweden with the height I use, just for fun to compare it. <laughs> That's really cute. Jazz, you're gonna have to remind me to draw that. Oh god, I hate posing. I hate posing. I really want to show the weight of the fat that he has. And then there's like the pelvis, and then Gonna shrink him up in a minute. There's no way you can convince me Ice isn't lanky and not traditionally buff nor wide. He's just that energy of kind of a scrawny teen. Oh, you're right. You're so right to say that. 
Oh my god, everyone shut up. This is the best song. I'm sorry, that was me. Don't shut up. I, I like it. I like talking with everybody. But this is the best song in Ride the Cyclone. Next to Talia. Talia's my favorite. Hold on. A poker with a heart of black charcoal. Okay, I'll stop. I see the body type shapes, and I raise you. What if we exaggerated a hellhole of a lot? For me, I always split between Finn is a bit squishy and Finn is kind of slim thick. Slim, thin, slim, not slim thick. I also love the fact Finn and Finn has cannon stomach rolls. I know. It's so cute. You can't really tell because Hema kind of draws everybody very round, but. Please mention that I'd like to have her tell me pretty that I stuck ten times in his back. Okay, we're gonna have to shrink him up. Actually, do I shrink him up or do I just make the canvas bigger? How big is the canvas right now? Hold on. Okay, so the canvas is 55,000 by 35, or 5,500 by 3,500. I'm gonna push it. I like, I like drawing on big files because I'm insane. So what if we made the width, what was it, 5,500, 7,500, and then the height is 3,500, so we'll make it 5,500. Okay. I've heard that line a million times before. Okay. Everybody shut up. This is the only one actually talking. Okay, well, <laughs> I don't usually think of Finn as someone who has massive muscles or has a lot of width, though he definitely has chub. Also, we should do other nations someday. Like the height. I'm assuming you meant Hedda. Girls are Germanics. Make the canvas bigger. Big reference. Oh, I'm doing it. But yeah, no, I like doing these body type streams. If you haven't listened to Ride the Cyclone, 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 listen to Ride the Cyclone. Like, actually, don't listen to it vicariously through my really crusty mic. That night I bring you my self-express. Okay, maybe we... Mm. Wait, hold on. Wait, eight months later, I catch typhoid flu. Kicked out, I see. So I should have enough room to finish the full body, at least the rough sketch I have of going of it. Hold on. I've noticed that whenever I draw them standing with like one straight leg, I always make them do an insane lean. So I'm trying to get better about that. Final words to the Lord you'd like to say. Mm. Tell him that like can I choose to burn out rather than fade the way. We'll also allow you to see my sweetie's height as a stick figure since I'm not sure his height would fit otherwise. <laughs> Probably. I'm gonna be honest, with Den I cannot at all see him with chub. Maybe wit, but not chub. No, I agree. Like, maybe he's, he's gonna have like some body fat on him, of course, but... I am having a hard time talking. Okay. Um. I hate legs. No, but yeah, I kind of agree. Den comes off as more muscly than anything. He's a beefcake, a meathead, whatever you want to call him. He's big and dumb and strong. Okay, maybe if I... Story. 
story has a lesson. Every story, every story's got a lesson. Okay, uh, so this is, so, okay, we're gonna not spend too much time on all of these, simply because I would be drawing four full bodies and, oh god, that's a lot. So I think the play of the game is gonna be doing general mess, like, really... <laughs> What you is, is what you got. And I'm here to say, I am the money. Um, but yeah, I think doing messy sketches like this is going to be the way to go. Just to get like a feel for the body type and also not spend too much time. So let me line Finn up with his and then I'll make him bigger. I'll make him bigger so he can actually like fit on the canvas properly. I'm the king of Kachin. Alright. Good morning. Oh, hi! Hello, Sleepy Doodle. Nice to see you. Maybe no color? Yeah, I'm not gonna do color. Rough sketching. Yeah. And hi, Rue. Um, yeah, I think, remember how last time it was black and white sketches and then, like, at most they had like bare bones undies on. Hi, I'm actually here for once. Oh my god, hi Nova! <laughs> I'm so happy you're here! What is the pixel to inch conversion here? Why are you asking me questions like that? I don't know what that means. Oh! <laughs> Hold on. I, I know what that means. I'm just dumb. Um, right now, um, the width height is 7,500 by 5,500, and in inches, oh my god, in inches, that's 104.2 by 76.4 inches, approximately. So, that's, that's what we're working with. This is a huge canvas, but I like working with really big canvas, canvases. And small brushes. I know they are huge files and my computer hates me by the end of it, but I don't care. Also, the best song in the entire Ride the Cyclone album is about to come on. This isn't right. Wait, no, this is not right. This is why I should have, I should have drawn Sweden first, because he, Sweden... Whenever I do lineups for characters, my tallest character is usually my frame of reference for everybody else, and I drew Finland, who, by this chart, is the shortest, because I'm dumb. I must become to possess you. And to take all of the pain from your soul. And then the passion factor of my heart. Okay, uh, so we're going to do Sweden now, because I need my uh, main man point of reference. My reference man, my guy, my homeboy. There he is. There's my guy. Okay. So now we're getting into the body types that I haven't already done. With Sweden, I see him as kind of a rectangular build with muscle. Not really toned muscle, but he's like strong and very broad shouldered which i'm not translating very well mm -hmm. so like there's his ribs let me zoom out um not that much oh my god <laughs> All title Percy struggles to pronounce canvas for three hours. What? Canvas? Am I not saying it right? What do you mean? 
Okay, so again, he's kind of like a rectangle, but a little inward, kind of like this. That's how I see him at least, so let's get that going. Basically, very broad shoulders, not like exactly a triangle build, but something like here we go. chest, and this is the start of his abdomen, so his belly button. Is Sweden like nine feet tall? No, I just messed up my lines. We're gonna fix it. I'm gonna stop talking for a minute so you can listen to this actually. Hold on. I'm gonna go silent for a bit just to let this part of my favorite song from the album play. My favorite part of my favorite song from Ride the Cyclone. Okay. Just gonna let this go for a bit. Okay, sorry. Mm, you don't need to add... Wait, question. You know the height program I like to use? How come you don't just use that program to get background height lines with the screenshot? You don't need to add people in the program. You can do... Oh, you know what? I could have done that, but you know what? We're already this far. Let, let me just... Sweden has no limbs, so let me at least give him those, and then we can do that. Sweden is definitely a boxy, rectangular person. Not at all wide compared to the height, but not slim per se. Yeah. Also, what is Ride the Cyclone? Ride the Cyclone is... Ride, not red. Ride the Cyclone is um, a musical about these six... I think I've talked about it in the Discord, because um, I really like this play. It's about these six choir kids who go on a roller coaster and they die um, in a freak accident. And now they're in this limbo run by one of those like old fortune teller machines that you used to see at carnivals and such um that's sentient mm. um in your modern day. okay uh and basically they're singing songs to kind of compete uh, about who deserves to go back to and get another shot at life because they all died so unfairly and very young and out of the blue so the machine, his name is Karnak, he's like, hey guys, I'll give you a shot at life again, but you each need to plead your case, and then it all has to be a unanimous vote. Nobody gets sent back if the vote isn't unanimous or something like that. So most of these songs are the six kids, you know, talking about their life, what they went through, what they wish their life had been, stuff like that, as like a plead to go back again. It's really good. It's like only 22 songs and all of them are great. Anyway. I see Seedon as a trapezoid shape. Yeah, like kind of muscular, but he's so tall, he kind of looks lean. Yeah. I kind of wanted to box out his hips a little bit. I don't know why I'm being told to do that, but... In my face, a mortal man. <laughs> Wait, what if I just had him just standing like this? I guess that's not that bad. I guess it's expected. This song, or at least the performance of it, which is called Space Age Bachelor Man, was actually inspired by David Bowie. The costuming for the actual like play, not the song itself. Maybe a little bit, but not entirely. Honestly, 
This song gives more flash by Queen than anything by David Bowie. And also Cats the Musical, but we're not going to talk about it. Anyway. Anyway, uh, like, kind of muscular, but he's so tall. Yeah, because, like, he ain't thin. He's just so much taller. The width-height ratio makes him look thin. That means, well, yeah, you talked about it. I did. I will continue to talk about it. It's good. But man, this sounds like some serious moral question when existentialism. What child has a greater right to live? And uh, you don't get the ending of the play when you watch it or listen to it. When you listen to the play, you don't really glean what the ending is. But um, I looked it up. I couldn't stand it. I had to know. And I like how it ends. I really do. I think it's sweet. Um, something about his chest isn't looking right. I think his shoulders are too drooped. Bachelor man. Yeah, I think... Hold on. I think if I do this and I bring his entire top portion down a wee bit. Because he kind of looks like he's doing a hard, like, Puff out the chest with the arms back. Which is not what I want. I'm also spending too much time on this. I should be moving on to the others. Oh, he needs he needs underwear. Sorry, sir. Had you bear before God. I can't believe I did that to you. I would never. Okay, so there's Sweden. There's Finland. Oh my god. <laughs> I love him. I do Neo Nation gender sexuality headcanons right now. Oh, cool! No one's probably upper rectangle and lower oval. That does make sense. On the. Okay. So, I'm going to ignore the height charts that I made. I'm going to put Sweden over here. Once again, he is my frame of reference. And. This isn't quite the heights that I keep them at, or I have them at. I have sweet or thin a little, like, hold on, let me put them on the same plane right quick. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Normally, I draw sweet or Finland with his height being at like Sweden's neck shoulder area. But I definitely didn't do that, so let me... I think I just got myself in a corner. Okay, I'm gonna make him a little squirter. I'm gonna make him a little... Him a little taller. Oh. My turn. Oh, man. And then I take him like that. Yeah, this feels right. Okay, so there's Finn and Nor- <laughs> That is not who that man is. So we have Speed. Speed. And now who should we do? Den, Nor, or Sweden? I'm getting all of these men incorrect. Should we do Denmark, Norway, or Iceland? Oh, wait, you know what? Before we do that, let me get that height chart from that website you were talking about, Jez, which I think I have it saved, so let me get that. Refs. Well, well, I need you to work with me for once in your life. Height. My guess is with the ending... Wait, hold on. A, the magic world was all right, y'all are all sick. At a stalemate, make a good case, y'all get revived. Same stalemate deal, but they decided... Actually, both are incorrect, Tex. Oh, hold on. I forgot I was just on this site, so I have a lot of people on here. Okay, let... Let me... Gonna get the URL in there and everything. Ooh. 
the screen's gonna get wonky, but you know what? When is it never? Whoops. Nope. There we go. Put that in the background. The ending is so sweet. I haven't entirely seen it, but I saw a quick shot of it, and it makes me happy. I know, right? It's... Uh, nor has cake is unexpected, but not welcome. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that Norway has cake? It was not me. And I'm very curious what the option would be that doesn't upset you. Yeah, no, I'm not here is right. One person does get to love again, but I'm not going to say who. Oh wait, I kind of need those numbers. I'm really about to like show my um I'm not gonna say that word. Uh show my ignorance about height conversion because I still am not entirely clear like how <laughs> I love being I love being American. Uh how the heights that we do here translates to centimeters. I know in general, like 170 centimeters is around average. No, no, it's not because Jess, you had Canon Sweden as 172 and I know that's obscenely big. Okay, hold on. My dumb, my dumb self needs American conversion because I'm so stupid. Hold on. Okay, so 200, which is the max height, is about like 6'6", six, six, which, holy god. What's average height, then? And I'm asking why, Lord, if this is how I die, Lord. Okay, so 160. Upper 160 is about average height, which is 5'5". Five, five. Okay. Mm. Why can't I think? I know I've written out the heights for these men before. Whatever. I don't care, actually. I'm not saying who. Watch it. Yeah, absolutely watch it. I said Nori has thick thighs and a rear. Rue, I am looking at you. You might be onto something. Okay, so with this height chart we have here, Sweden is a solid, like, 179, which is not at all how I had canon him. And Finland is resting at a solid 158, probably. Holy god. Okay, no. Finland is 5'5 five five in my head. And 5'5 five five is about 167. Where are you? Mm -hmm. Wait, now I'm confused. You know, actually, I don't care. Can we make that clear in this chart somehow? Because that'd be hilarious. What, that Nora's caked up on a Sunday afternoon? I don't... What are we making clear on the chart? Like, what everyone's height is? It's 5'4. Five 5'4 four. Five four is 164. Finland is 5'10, Sweden 6'4. Hmm. You know, we can worry about fixing the heights later. Let's just get the body types done, you know? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, okay, so we have Sweden, Finland. Let's do Norway since we're talking about his butt, apparently. So, for, like, general height, I kind of see him taller than Finn, but not by much. Because I still want Iceland to be shorter than Nor, but taller than Finn, so, like... Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, like right about there. So Okay, body time. Excuse me. I've been also workshopping like Nori's face shape because I just kind of used to draw him rounded like this, but I didn't like it. I didn't think it was interesting enough. But that original drawing I did where I tested out a new face shape that I liked, it's in... Actually, do I have it? Eh, I don't care. I have my look Dinstein at 5'4". Do I just have a good goofed up sense of scale or does everyone just imagine the nations as tiny? Quite frankly, I kind of see all of them as relatively tall. Okay, so we said, Jez, you said like rectangle and then oval, right? Something like, hold on, let me scroll back. Upper rectangle, lower oval. So like... The real question is which oval, because in one direction we have that, and the other. This is kind of what we got going. This looks so silly. Angular round in my head. Finland is angular round. I kind of get it. I kind of get it. Not entirely, but kind of. Hold on, I need to make... Oh, I just spilled coffee everywhere. I'm wearing a white sweater. Oh my god. I need to find a... Uh, I need to find a, a napkin. Oh my god. Yeah, I have it everywhere. I'll be right back. Why do I always wear white sweaters on stream? I'm so stupid. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I didn't get any on my computer, thank god, but I definitely, it's all over my desk. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Everything is going wrong. There's stuff. There's coffee. There's coffee all over my desk. My, I have books stacked on my desk that are falling. I need to take off this sweater, actually. This is... Oh, my God. I really love this sweater, but the sleeves are so big. This... It... It gets kind of annoying. Do I have something else? Sorry, this is a weird pause to have in the stream, but I feel like weirder has happened. I need to find something else to wear that's not a white sweater. Oh, jeez. Okay, I found an old t-shirt. If I'm gonna be silly, goofy, a mess, might as well wear something I don't care about. And also my books all fell. TJ Kloon, you have failed me. Stay, stay up. Okay, we're good. It's over. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Uh, do we have any canon Latin American nations? I don't think so, actually. Oh, I see what you mean now, Jez. So kind of like... Now hear me out on this. So kind of like a uh, billboard chest, but then a belly. Like a belly. 
Oh, let's get these shoulders in. I don't see him, I don't see Nora's very broad shouldered. I kind of see him as a little droopy. I cannot wait to get to Denmark, I'm gonna be real. Play your white sweater in warm water in the meantime. No, I, I looked at it, I was able to dab off the coffee and get it off with a little bit of water, so we're good. Cuba and Ecuador. Wait, Ecuador? We have an Ecuador? Okay. Just so we know it's Norway. There we go. So kind of like straight... Heh. Straight and then... Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna elongate him, but this is the general shape I see. And then there's his chest. How, how How's this looking? And like some belly down here. Well, that just makes it look like abs, hold on. The 2020 Percy Coffee incident kind of made me forget who I was. <laughs> Twink! <laughs> Okay, Rue, you got me there. Uh, yeah, and we are doing Nor. Cuba and Ecuador canon. Let me look at the picture of Ecuador. Oh, I've seen this man before. He's very cute. I like his hair. He has a little turtle. Okay. That's cute. Oh my god, he has a human name? Like, canon? Esteban... Madalena, whoa. Esteban Madalena Fernandez Romero. Good for him. Percy, we talked about beer stomach yesterday too. Do you still want to do that? Oh, yeah. Let, let's try that. I'm gonna, instead of squaring off the hips so much like I did for mm, Sweden, it's gonna be a little more straight, like, I think. And then I don't really see him as having big legs. I need to work on that too, as like differentiating body types with legs. I kind of just draw them generally thick. But yeah, um, I'm not really sure what a beard gut looks like other than like just big at the bottom. But you know what? Oh, wait, hold on. The album, the album's over. You're saying on his face. You don't know what I'm down. Oh, never mind. There's one more song. Doesn't have a canon human name. That's all fandom. Oh, what was on the... You know, whatever. Honestly, with beer stomach does sound neat. I can't really see it with nowhere. I could definitely see it with Finn, maybe. Den or Sweet, but then... If they let themselves go, oh my god. Den built like a beer... Oh, never mind. If it's Nora, I'd say more rectangle body type using the chart and overall thin or even tad lanky. No, I think in general he doesn't have as much muscle or fat on him. Again, I need to work on like body types shown within arms and legs. I go... I always make them look a little beefier than I intend to, but I'm thinking very like... this kind of shape for him, you know, like, if that makes sense. Oh, 
Let me scooch him up a bit so I have room for the rest of his legs. Maybe at one point in history, Nor was like muscular. Not like den muscular. Or, you know, big. But I mean, he was a Viking. So maybe at one point he did have some muscle, but he didn't. After like a certain point in time, he stopped like having to worry about keeping himself safe and fighting. So now he's just like comfortable with what he looks like. And he doesn't. He's not as ripped. But okay, let's work on this stomach. Most people, same face syndrome, Percy Fudge, I have legs. Same legs! <laughs> no, you got it. Dane built like a bear, but with chronic dad bod. Removed it last time because I missed just. Oh, I see. If your stomach isn't letting yourself go, it's just a different body type and a sign that takes time. That times are better now than they used to be. I No, I vibe with you on that. Never ending. It goes around and Mm, okay. Like, okay, hear me out. I am not a Marvel movie fan. Not anymore. I used to be. Now I don't really care. I am apathetic towards the Marvel series. But, I, and I'm talking just design-wise, I'm not talking character arc or anything like that. Pure design. Chubby. Built like a tank. Built like a whole dad. Thor? Oh my god. Oh my god, I loved it. I loved that version of Thor. But what made me really hate it, actually, was how they played it as a joke. Like, oh, ha, ha, isn't it funny? Hot boy Chris Hemsworth is fat. Thor, you know, your big man that you love, moms out there, he's fat now and depressed and isn't it just hilarious how he is so mentally destroyed by the recent goings-on? Isn't that hysterical? It's funny, right? Why aren't you laughing? I hated that. I hated that so much. I think they could've... Like, obviously they couldn't have done, oh, the times are better now, in that story. Or maybe they could've. Maybe they could've, because what, it took place five years after the snap? Oh, so I'm gonna go over Nora's bod. Uh, what I have here with a different color to try with the beer gut. Um, but maybe he, like, you know, he moved on. Like, it happened. He, it sucked. He didn't... He lost so many people. But five years have gone by. He's helped his people establish a new home. He settled down. Maybe they could have found him. He was like, yeah, I will never be over what happened, but I have moved on. I have built a life. I feel good. It still sucks, and I still am in pain, but I am better, and I've let myself relax a little bit, and ease up. I- and then he had, you know, the belly. I would have loved that. That would have been so good. Also, I'm- I'm struggling. I need- I don't want to look up beer gut reference. I'm gonna get weird pictures. I'm gonna look up beer gut reference. If I have to look up beer gut reference, then you guys are looking it up with me. Um... Hold on, I have to- I hate this. Um, but yeah, no, I think they could've- I love that design of him. I really did. And they ruined it because they made mental health into a joke. Anyway! Not saying better or worse, more so- <laughs> The really great points about the film, I honestly don't remember if I've watched it. He got fat because of depression and alcoholism. Definitely not the greatest way to handle it as a joke since obviously obesity is something that does often happen as well. No, right. Even then, they could have had a serious story. Sorry, you guys are looking this up with me if I have to. Um, but they could have taken him seriously. They, if they wanted to go the route of, oh, Thor has settled down and he is suffering from alcoholism and also depression because of you know, losing his friends and family, 
that he fought really hard to oh my god oh my god yeah this is uh <laughs> this is why i regret looking it up i don't like uh oh wait who's that who's this who's that man in the glasses is that zach efron on the left who who is this you you sir It's so funny to me how men are starting to realize that women actually like men with a bit of chub. Like, I feel like that's not controversial to say. I agree, honestly. Like, yeah, I, obviously I draw a lot of muscular men, but that's just because I like drawing anatomy. And you can really show off the anatomy and muscle. I just like drawing muscles. What can I say? I'm a simple lady. Um... I think men should have curves. Anyway. I like this. This guy in the middle, whoever he is, I don't recognize him. Click the link. There's a link. Click it. Oh, yeah. Wait, no, it says five steps to achieve the perfect dad bot. This is not gonna... Is that Benedict Cumberbatch? No, that's not Benedict Cumberbatch. Who is this? Who is that? Is that the guy who voices Kronk? Is that the guy who voices the one guy from Family Guy? Bader. Is that him? Why don't you tell me, skip the gym and drink beer? Oh my god, I can't believe this is actually an article. Anyway, I'm gonna take a screenshot of whoever this man is. I don't know who you are, but, uh... Thank you. Okay. Back to the man. I'm gonna pull that picture up in the reference window, and we'll get going. So, first thing first... Get rid of the ditties. Let's try it. Just like kinda right? And then Yeah. I like men lean and runner dancer build. That's valid too. I thought the pic of the guy pouring a drink was holding his back in a really weird position and the white of the shirt made it seem like that. Wait, hold on. The picture. Oh, I exited out of the tab. I don't know. I'll look at stream again in a minute. So, and then it kind of... He's kind of curvaceous, if I do say so myself. But, you know, I think it's valid to, like, the lean runner dancer build. I don't really look at body type too much, quite frankly, when I look at somebody who I think is, like, conventionally pretty, or, like, they have an interesting body type. It's because, oh, I want to draw you. Which, I might, that might just be me being nice, I don't really know. Kind of has, like, bellies have that, like, some bellies have that, like, heart, sh upside down heart shape to them, right? The kind of, like, not exactly this, but kind of like that, you know? Well, if this guy is curvy, then I think that's my reason and excuse to make Nora look a little curvy. And then we do this. Can men have hip dips? I'm asking for a friend. Can men have hip dips? People would be upset if more people drew Nora as like a little little chunkier. You know what? People don't care. This fandom isn't that big anymore. Does being ace mean you like thickness? <laughs> no, I'm telling you, I'm ace and an artist, and I think that skews my perception of what is attractive to me personally. Because I just look at people and I go, oh, you're very pretty. You look like you'd be fun to draw. Also, I'm not drawing this belly right. This just looks weird. Yeah, right? Hip dips? Hip dips. Um, it's... I, I've seen it mostly on women, so like... Here, you have... You have a woman, right? Here she is. She's coming in. Right? You can tell because boob. On a lot of the times, women will have hip dips, 
And it's when, like, okay, so like, you have your chest, your abdomen, and then your hips. So you kind of think of hips as these like solid rounded things, right? And then, hold on, right? But hip dips are when it doesn't really look like that, the fat on the thigh kind of like comes in. So it comes off the abdomen, goes in a little bit at the bottom of the pelvis, and then comes back out. So like, yeah. So this is like the pelvis, you know? So the fat will follow along that bone but then come in and then come back out when it gets to the thighs. And I love hip dips. They're fun to draw. I think it was Ink who draws most of their character, female characters with hip dips and oof. Or no, they drew Copenhagen, my Copenhagen with hip dips. And then that's why she has hip dips. But yeah, these are hip dips. And I know women can have them. Yeah, you can tell because boop. So I know women have them because the way fat is distributed distributed around the thighs. Um, but men don't have fat distribution the same way women do, at least not traditionally. So I don't know if men can get hip dips. I mean, they probably can get like a weird version of it. But I'm not entirely sure what that would look like. So belly and then I guess like that's like the closest you can you can get with just more fat being on the thigh than because I know y'all joked about Nora having cake. It's not a joke. He's gonna have some as a treat if I do say so myself. And like if he's wearing boxers, the hem would kind of follow down like that and then. There we go. Okay. Who has hip dips? Hearing you say that you love them makes me happy. As someone who has hip dips, hearing you say you love them makes me... <laughs> They're just nice. I don't know. I like them. <laughs> you know that... You know that stupid argument men have about, like, body types of women where, or no, it's like a, are you a, tit, are you a tits or ass kind of guy? You know when they say that? <laughs> are you a hip dip or thigh cap kind of guy? <laughs> I feel like they're like the same and opposite. Man can definitely have that. Not as common since a man has little to no much for it to be visible, but Duff can have them. Um, of course, there's random gen genetic lottery. That's true. Though I'd need to look more into it, and I don't know how to share since you don't have Discord or anything else, and YouTube kind of suck for communication. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna take a step back. How do we? How do we? Oh. Something looks very wrong here. Hold on, belly, and then that's where that would be. So. He's becoming kind of like a pear. You see it? He's built like a whole pear. Well, what do we think of this? I know, I, I can't really get the belly to translate very well. What time is it? Hold on, it's fine. It's like, I don't really... Hold on, let me look at. So I feel like I'm objectifying this poor man whose body type I'm looking at. Um, left hip too big. I see what you mean. Well, if we just stick out the leg a little more, that's what makes him look like a pear. I kind of don't mind him looking like a pear. Once again, I'm like. Hold on. Let's then like probably just looks weird because he has like nothing. <laughs> Does a gay little st stance pisses you off. <laughs> he 
kind of looks like he's, you know, cocking his hip out a bit. Why don't we make him do that? Actually, though, like, hold on. I'm gonna make him look like he's doing a funny little, little stance. If we just, <laughs> we just. So yeah, I think I'm gonna just make him look like he's doing a funny little stance, and then he has one leg kicked out. Because that's what this is giving. Objectifies fictional men with no arms over <laughs> Listen here. I think it's fine to leave it like that. Yeah, trans man Norway. Hey, listen. Maybe. Percy, do you- have you- wait. Percy, have you seen that DDOI vid of the thickest man in the airport? <laughs> what? No! What are you talking about? Tex, you can't just say things like that and then not elaborate. What do you mean? Oh, I no longer match with uh, the body I drew, but you know what? Uh, I don't care. Let's just do that. <laughs> this body, I need to just make a new head. So no head. I'm sorry. <laughs> I couldn't control that. I really gave him weak shoulders. Nora doesn't really Give the vibe of somebody who would have weak shoulders. Who would have weak shoulders? <laughs> Wait, have I, do it, have I done anybody with their hand on their hip? I've been with his hands on his hip. Um, Norby can have his hand on his hip. He deserves it. Just look up daily dose of internet, thick man. Should be the first thing. I am scared. Okay. Daily dose of internet. What was it? Thick man. Should be the first thing that pops up. You put your save right away. And then after some memes and cool nature. And... Oh. <laughs> That's, this is a plant I am looking at, and it's all Pixar mom memes. Airport security be couldn't believe it was real. Guys, we're watching this together. Hold on, did I switch it over? I did. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. The airport security had to take this guy to the back room for a closer look. <laughs> oh my god! Should I get a dog? Should I get a dog? Should I get Was that a dog? it? Okay, well. <laughs> You're telling me it was an 11 second clip and this is a two minute long video of just other memes? But it's promoted as the airport man, but, but, no, wait, hold on, hold on, what in the world, <laughs> oh my god, you know, I do not blame airport security, that doesn't look real, I would also be sus of him, jeez, he has, do you see though, like, the way he walks, he walks with his arms out, like, to the side very far because he is Should I get thick. 
Oh, that's hilarious. Pixar mom, yeah, Pixar mom memes. You know, it's the meme that all moms from Pixar movies are built like this. Na namely, like, Elastigirl. That's the meme. They have really large hips. <coughs> that was some cake. That was some cake! Snapchat filter. <laughs> yeah. Okay, once again, I need to remember that I don't really see his legs as anything thick. I need to learn about fast fat distribution on men because I simply do not know. And that's just how Daily Dose of Internet videos are. They name it the first clip and then they just have a bunch of random. It's kind of weird. But I guess I'm not the one running a YouTube channel. I don't like building the body up this way. Starting from the top and then having to like... Do the head and shoulder... Like... No, not even not even having a head. Like I know I have a head, but like not really. Okay, well I kinda like this. I kinda like how he is looking. Once again, just so we know it's him. What happened? There he is. Nice. Good enough. Uh, let's make him red like the rest of them. And then sl ooh, slap him on that plane. Hold on, he's still kind of doing like a... You know, having now that he's sitting next to Finn, I'm gonna I'm gonna shave him up like a little bit, just a little bit, not too much. Or clean him up just a little bit, cause so, something is throwing me off about this. A bit odd at times, but usually very nice. Hi, Shu! Welcome! We're drawing men. Dog protects human from evil vacuum cleaner is another great one. <laughs> Sounds it. Shu, right now we're drawing men. We just finished drawing rough sketches, or not just, but we've done rough sketches of Sweden, Finland, and Norway, and what we think their body type is. Norway took a long time because it's like a weird combo of like a box and then like a belly. Like, kind of like a little bit of a beer gut. And male hip dips. <laughs> Couldn't really figure that one out. Um, but yeah. Should we do... I need something easy. This one was hard for me, so let's do Denmark. Denmark will be easy. That's just a token large man. I can draw one of those. Okay. Hold on. And as far as height, I usually put him a little... Like a little shorter than Sweden. So let's just. Right about there. Is, he, is, he, is that shorter than Sweden? Why isn't the graph working? Oh, that's why. Oh, oh the graph is too tiny. Wait. Okay, yeah. Still taller than Norway, still shorter than Sweden. I know it doesn't really look it, but he is. What's going on? Wait, what's going on? 
As is the whales are Percy's practicing for the free AU. Free AU? Free sounds like some dystopian horror indie game. No, it's a swimming anime, dude. You've never heard of Free? The Iwatobi Swim Club? Bruh. Okay, but Free AU would actually be hilarious. Oron High School Host Club AU. Uh wait, how wait, how many members are there though? Wait, there's Tamaki, there's Kyoya, the twins. Honey, and then Mori. Okay, well, there's one more in there than could actually fit in the club. Unless we just got rid of the twins. Unless we merged the twins into one to make one Ita uh, Itachi twin. Alpha twin. <laughs> Denmark better be shorter than, than Sweden. Oh my god, yeah. After stream, look up DDOI girl high fives priest. That, rem that reminds me. When I uh, got... What was it? I don't even remember the name of it. Something something with my church. I, like, got... Con it was called Confirmation. I'm not entirely sure what it is. But basically, to train or prep for Confirmation, you have to go to these classes and then learn about the Bible. And then you pick a patron saint... To know you be your, like, guiding saint for the rest of your life, but I don't know. Um, I, I didn't really care. I still don't. But I didn't care at the time, so I literally just picked whatever my mom picked for her patron saint, and that was it. And when I told them, when they asked me, hey, why'd you pick that? I said, oh, you know, he's Italian. My fam Half my family's Italian. Uh, uh, my mom, it was my mom's, and they took it. They took it as a valid reason, which was so funny. I played them. But anyway, when... To, for the actual confirmation, the ceremony that we were a part of, I'm going to like turn my brain off because I know exactly what I want Denmark to look like. So I'm going to turn my brain off for the drawing to tell this story. Um, for the actual confirmation, the ceremony was like, you get all dressed up, you have to wear white and white and red, I think were the colors. And I had a really cute dress on. In hindsight, my dress had like a chest window, not really like a really a chest window it was literally just like a window for my clavicle because it was a high collar chest dress and then it had like a mesh screen so i think i got a couple looks for that one but it was a cute dress i slayed anyway uh to be like actually confirmed i guess is what it was into the church you have to walk down the aisles between the pews and go up to the altar and there was the bishop i don't really know where he came from but there was a bishop and, um, hold on, let me, <laughs> yeah, okay, uh, and the bit, you basically, the bishop asks you a couple questions, kind of like a pop, uh, like a Christian pop quiz, you answer them, then he asks you, oh, oh no, he asks you questions about your patron saint, and my patron saint that I picked was Saint Francis of Assisi, the patron saint of animals. Assisi is an Italian city. I like animals. They're my mom patron say it's like, you know. But he asked you a couple questions to see if you actually know things about your patron saint. So I did a, basically a book report on Francis. But then, you know, he does a little prayer. He does a little thing. And there was a challenge that my confirmation leader gave everybody. And the challenge was, as such... When you go up to the bishop, ask him for a high five. That was the challenge. I don't know why, but everybody was so down for it. They were so... Oh my god. I He is built like a Hunter Hunter character. Hold on. Everybody was so ready to give this bishop a high five. And I was like, haha, wouldn't that be funny? But then I was like, uh-oh, I have anxiety. I'm not going to do that. But so many people went up to him. They asked him his questions, they had, they ate the, um, the body, what is it called, the rice cracker thing, I think, is, was part of it, Eucharist, and then they were like, hey, Bishop, Mr. Bishop, can I get a selfie with you later, and also can I have a high five? It was really funny. So many people were asking the Bishop for selfies, and he was, 
bewildered. He was so confused. Actually hilarious. Girl high fives, please. So yeah, that, there was my story. Um, if one of the twins was absorbed, then well, my God. Watched it on my dad's phone in 2016. That says a lot. I've never heard of done the same thing. Really? Wait. Well, okay. Well, I grew up in a Catholic church, if that means anything. Because I know every, like, sect of Christianity does things very differently. Very, very differently. Like, I have Christian, like, friends who were raised in a Christian house who I tell them, like, about mass, and they're like, what? And it's just because I go to a Catholic church, and most of them don't. Or I went to a Catholic church. I don't go. Church. Actually, my man St. Francis, if I remember it correctly, kind of a dick. Kind of, like, awful. But that's, like, how all the saint stories go. All the stories are like, hey, here's a bad per. It's either like, hey, here is a good person who does a good thing, and then they die, and they're, like, martyrized. Not martyrized. Granted sainthood for it. Because they died. And they were actually like a really good person. Kind of like Joan of Arc. Oh, I should have had Joan of Arc be my patron saint. That would have been so funny. But, um... Hold on. I gotta remember, like, like muscles are weird as sh heck. Um, but yeah, no. My man St. Francis was an awful person. Like hated everybody around him I think like stole and beat people up or something and then the town like kicked him out because he had like a panic attack or whatever I don't know and he lived in the wilderness for years and I think something something saved by animals or he like saw a dying animal and he took pity on it nursed it and then the animals were like thankful so they made sure he didn't die I don't know Something like that. But you know, man started out as a whole jerk and a half. Very, oh, it was, he was a, a material girl, if I remember correctly. That's why he wasn't a good person. Because he was vain. And had so many worldly possessions he cared more about. We had JoJo's Bizarre Adventures, now we have Percy's Wild Church Tales. Bro, I got more. Catholic Church Wild. Like that one time I made a friend in my confirmation classes and she was really cool and very outwardly a lesbian and then she stopped showing up and then like a week later the head priest came to our class and said, we, has anyone here been having homosexual thoughts? One of your classmates has and we have fixed her. She is doing better now. And then I internalized that because I was just learning that I might not be straight at that time. So you... And if there's one thing I can tell you about Catholics, they love making you feel guilty for being a person. They love it. Catholic guilt is a thing. And yeah, no, I internalize that. Like, you do something wrong, you're horrible. That's why you have to go to confession weekly. You don't have to, but they encourage it. Or not even, I don't know, but when, they even hammer it home in the confession. They're like, the first thing you have to say is like, Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It's been blank many days since my last confession. So, like, if it's been a while since your last confession, they, like, make you feel bad for it. Not intentionally, but by virtue of saying it's been this many days since my last confession, it tells... It, I don't know. I don't like it. I think... Damn, really, my church is pretty chill. Man, my church is old. I feel like that says enough. Um, but part of my confirmation classes were of going on retreats, which was just to, like, this little camp in, like, way off in nowhere, Florida. Um, and they were fun. Like, I got to hang out with some cool friends, and then we had to do church things, so it was kind of boring. But I got to ride a horse. I got to show off that I knew how to ride a horse. The people, like... 
it was a pony ride, so it's basically you get on the horse and people walk you around the ring, but I had been, I had taken horse lessons, horse riding lessons. I know how to ride a horse. So I got to just ride a horse of my own. It was awesome. Got to show off. <laughs> but, oh, wait, no, I already did this pose for Finland. Um, yeah, and then we, after lunch, we had to do something called adoration which is basically you sitting in front of the Eucharist, which is the body and bloody of Christ. Bo no. Body and blood of Christ. A rice cracker and wine, basically. Um, or like a wafer. Um, and then you sit for two hours and you accept the Lord's light within you. It's supposed to be spiritual. Um, I never felt anything, so I just kind of sat and uh, daydreamed for two hours. <laughs> Took a nap. It was great. Um, but then they made us do confessions. Like, they sent us out to sit in the nearby field, you know, they had one, by a lake. And, like, journal and write things, and I wrote about how much I didn't like being at camp and how I thought girls were pretty. Like, that was pretty funny of me, I think. Uh, but then they would, like, walk up to you randomly and then make you go up to one of the priests or one of the fathers who were there so that you could do a confession. And I really just didn't want to do it because I didn't want to answer the like, how many days has it been since your last confession? Because I don't know, I went when I was a kid and then I never went back. And I confessed like, oh, I hit my brother, we were fighting, and by hit my brother, I mean I smacked him on the arm. We were siblings. We fought, we were siblings, what can I say? So I literally hid behind a tree and like if I saw them walking over, I would like, move around the tree so that I would be out of their line of sight. <laughs> it was really funny, actually. Anyway, uh, that was very long. Anyway, sorry. And she, I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> sorry to go on a rant about uh, my religious traumas. Anyway. A lot of drug and violence bad. Be kind to others. Don't judge others like how you wouldn't want to be judged. Also singing. Churches down here love singing. You'll spend at least an hour doing it. Oh, that's so funny because mass, Catholic mass is only an hour. And you do spend a lot of it singing. That was the only good part about going to church. Sometimes you have big feasts, big events, like funerals and marriages. Heterosexual has a part. Yeah, no, they do. Kind of, it's supposed to be an ally flag, though in practice everyone treats it like a hetero flag because it's convenient in practice. Yeah, no, Tex, you're right. The hetero flag that's the black and white um, is used in, like, ally pins and stuff, but then, like, heterosexuals will take it and then make it a pride flag, completely missing the point. Uh, but yeah, it's really boring, too. It's, it's like... I think it's just this, but black and white. Kind of lame, if you ask me. Uh, this man needs arms. I don't really know how to pose him. Also, yeah, I think... He looks not correct, actually. No! I accidentally made him so short. Wait, sir, I can fix you. I can, I can fix him. I made him so squirt. He needs, he needs to be wide. Hold on, he needs to be wide. Now he just looks disproportionate. Guys, I goofed up. Black and white stripes with a rainbow hollow triangle. Not the best, but not the worst. Yeah, the allied flag itself is fine, um, but the hetero flag is boring. Why do they even need a flag? I get the ally thing, I, I understand it. Kind of, but why do why do why do they need a flag? I'm not going to say what I was going to say. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna move on. I need to fix this man because he definitely 
has the incorrect proportions. Hold on. Dick. No. Fuck me. There's also not a lot of room on here for ice. I was looking for a flag because my Neo England is heterosexual trans, and I was looking for a flag to rep both her gender and sexuality. I mean, you could just put the trans flag, I guess. Because I feel like whenever you do, whenever people do, like, um, gender sexuality headcanons, if there is no sexuality or, like, if there's no flag to indi indicate gender or sexuality, it's assumed, uh, cis straight. You know what I mean? I don't know. It, it, that kind of makes sense to me, but that, that is just my interpretation of it. So I need to shave up these calves, because I see them having, like, like, runner's calves. He still doesn't have arms, and he needs them, and I don't know how to draw them. Hello, I'm back with popcorn. Hello! Kind of awkward to have any, every sexuality have a flag and then a blank space for hetero, particularly if you're, like, using that as the main way to show it. Wait, it's kind of awkward to have every sexuality have a flag and then a blank space for hetero, particularly if you're just, if you're, like, using that as the main way to show it. I'm gonna be real, I don't understand what you mean. You mean, like, it's weird that every other sexuality has rep and then heterosexuality doesn't? As far as, like, flag? Is that what you mean? Hold on, let me make these feet a little smaller. I picked the trans girl flag. It's a bunch of pink stripes with white in the middle. Oh, I've seen it. Den doesn't need hearts. I mean, hell, if you say so, sure. Then he doesn't get any. Sorry, man. Hold on. Did I actually make him shorter than Sweden? I did, but by a little bit. Oh, that's perfect. If you have everyone have something, I usually see a blank space as the, as the, the character doesn't know or doesn't have one, not cis straight. Oh, that's a fun inter- that's an interesting interpretation of it. Again, I don't think that's what's assumed by all, that was just what is assumed by me. But I like your, uh, interpretation of it. Oh, hold on. I just, the first Halloween, it's, today's the first Halloween prop day. And I just got the notification that the Hedoween event, um, reblogged it. Hey, nice. They said they liked my bonus content. Hell yeah. They're gonna be disappointed when they see I've only done two of the ten days because I'm an idiot and I didn't time out, uh, pace out my drawings very well. Whoops. <laughs> Cuba gives butch, le butch lesbian vibes. You're right. Not rep per se, more so just from a pure symbol design standpoint. It's like having a road sign for everything but stop. I think it kind of just a gap from pure pragma pragmatism. It kind of just a gap. Huh. Okay. Hold on. What time is it? 2.30? Wow. We Wait. Wait. It's only been an hour and a half, and I have four bodies drawn already? Wow. Like, I know I was getting sketchy with it, but I... Hmm, okay. That's neat. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, he needs some arms, guys. How should I pose him? I don't want to do the hands on the hips. I already did that for two. These sassy men. And he just is kind of man-standing. Should I give him like a Rengoku Demon Slayer kind of like 
arms crossed to imply cleft. No, because he's not. <sighs> hmm. He would cross his arms. I'm okay. Never mind. I'm I'm going to cross his arms. I had an idea. I hate drawing crossed arms, but you know what? It, uh, this this idea of mine is funny. So. Also, it makes him look bigger, I think. Have Denmark cheer or something? I would have him cheering, but this pose in and of itself is so static that I think doing an energetic cheer-like pose, it would look off. They're all just kind of standing, so it would be very, like, chill posing. And I'm just gonna have to remember what all of these circles are. I'm gonna remember what this all means, right? Right? Beep, beep. Oh wait, so we know it's him. Perfect. Like this is, yay! Well, I do like it. Wait, hold on. Maybe the thing with the, like, the hands behind the head, but in that cool guy way, like the white-haired child from Hunter Hunter. <laughs> my man, my little guy, Kilua. I know what you mean, but again, um, I feel like I haven't posed his old body in such a way that would work well with that pose. Like, if I was going to draw him with his hands behind his back, I would want the body to be more... Hold on, let's see this one. Like, if it was going to be this, I wouldn't want him to just be standing, you know? I would want him to be kind of, like, leaning into it. So because his pose is so static, I want to do something that works well with that static nature. Like having crossed arms and just kind of standing there. Okay. Time for ice. And then I'm going to have to take a little break. Dual happy fit. I know what you mean by that text. Um, wait, also, though, that may just be because I'm not someone who has strong feelings on sexuality or gender at all, nor really gets why people make a big deal of it beyond legal treating people fair stuff. I think pe the people who make a, like a, a big, air quote, deal out of gender and sexuality are the people who find comfort in having that identity. Because, like, and this is getting into, like, kind of personal territory. When I landed on the the term, like, pan, like, romantic, most, pan-romantic, I really resonated with it. More so, honestly, I, <laughs> that's up for debate right now. I guess I, yeah, I feel more with Ace. Yeah, I feel more with Ace. I feel very connected to my identity of being ace. I really, I really do. And you don't really see that kind of rep because I have, because of me being ace, I have very specific and weird clouded version of what romance and intimate relationships are like. And I don't see that. So I like to put that on characters. Like half of my characters now are ace. So, I think if it's something you've spent a long time thinking about and, like, trying to figure out and you find comfort in the terms that you have found that apply to yourself, then I think that's why people make a big deal about it. It's because it's so personal to them. Like how people make a big deal out of their special interests. It's, it's dear to them. I, make, I freak the heck out every time... <laughs> I see some cool art thing because I just found out art is my special interest. I feel like that's not, that's very stupid of me to say, like, of course. But also sharks, like, I freak out when someone talks about sharks. I really love sharks. If you talk to me about sharks, I am all in. I'm listening. So I think that's why people make a big deal of it. But if you don't think about it as much, like, I don't really think about gender all that much. So, like, I don't really make a big deal about gender identity, at least for myself and my characters. But yeah, 
I don't know. That's my take on it. Y'all aren't here to that. Y'all y'all aren't here to hear my hot takes on the LGBT community. Y'all are here to watch me draw na like half naked men. I know what you guys are here for. Anyway, um, I feel like I feel I feel like make South Korea a femme presenting a gender person who's pan. Yeah, all right, go for it. Since you're crossing his arms, perhaps you can make ten <laughs> clear and sweet. That'd be funny. It looks like you're drawing a straw basket in his arms. Huh, it does kind of look like that. Just like this? Copy, just copy to, like what? Did you send me something? I don't know what you mean. I suppose that makes sense. I mean, I do def get that to a point since settling on arrow ace is definitely a small comfort for me. I suppose I just don't think about it much. I think about gender a lot, so I do make a big deal about it. All my characters are gender queer in some way. Yeah, right? Like, I'm... It's so funny when you yourself are going through, like, shifts in identity and figuring out, like, who you are and what you're comfortable with. You can see that reflected, if you're an artist, you can see that reflected in your work. Like, recently? Recently? I have really been questioning my romance, my, like, sexuality. No, not that. I'm ace. The, like, romance part of it. Like, I'm not arrow ace. I don't think at least. I don't think at least. And I really feel comfortable with the term pan, but I don't know. I definitely feel things. I feel more for women. Like, I feel more embarrassed and, like, uh, I, I don't know. I, 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 uh, I don't know. I feel around women. I don't really feel around men. And if I do, it's like that weird, I was taught to act this way in front of men because I grew up in like a straight household and I can't, I don't know. I'm figuring it out. Don't really know if uh, I'm pan or a lesbian. I can't, I can't figure it out. I, uh, anyway, we don't need to worry about that. But yeah, that questioning bit of me, I'm kind of seeing reflected in some characters I've been making recently. And that's kind of funny. You can see yourself in your characters. It's, it's neat. Gender and sexuality are a big thing for me, so most of my characters are also genderqueer and pan. Hell yeah. I love women, so a lot of my characters love women. Exactly! Exactly! Pan with a preference for women? I think so. Like, I have more feelings towards non-male people, but at the same time, I feel like I could have a relationship with a man. It's just, honestly, most men I meet, freaks. Creepos. Skeeve me out. Most men, I, most men I meet in real life, I mean. Like, some of the men I talk with on campus, yeesh. There's only one man who I love and appreciate from my school. And I was about to drop his whole name, oh my god. And he is a camp counselor, I love him dearly. He is so tall, I haven't seen him in forever. I miss him, I miss him. My token tall man, my boost of serotonin. Who's also so queer would not be interested in me and i think that's why i like him is because i know that there's no shot of him being romantically interested which is a deal breaker for a lot of old friendships with men i had this one really close friend and also wow i am really going off i am so sorry anyway i had this one really close friend in high school he was so cool he was a skater boy sadly i said see you later boy because like we went out on a date, like a, a date, we went mini golfing, and it was fun, it was neat, he's sweet, um, he's a nerd, but I don't know, there's just something about him now, I met up with him recently, like recently, like a year ago, and I, I don't know, the energy's off, like, I really just kind of wanted to be friends with him after a certain point, but he kept treating me like the days in high school before he asked me out on a date, and we went on that date, so like the crush year, I don't know, it, I don't know. <sighs> he recommended me One Piece and also JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and I'm a little iffy on that. Anyway, Percy nearly talks to someone. I would die. I would actually die. I love him. I miss him. Me and uh, uh, the beloved B, we would make tea. And then leave it in a funny little jar for him. And then he would take it, drink it, say he liked it, put his own tea in the jar and leave it out for us. We had a tea trade going on. It was awesome. We used to be neighbors and now I don't see him. 
I don't know why I go with femme character so much, honestly. Maybe some deep reason there, but that's a topic for another time. <laughs> a mood. As het sis, I'm trying to challenge myself to explore the spectrum of identity through the fictional characters I headcanon and make. And you see? That's really cool. That's also, like, it, what is happening? That's cool, too. Like, yeah, you can see yourself in your own characters, but you can also explore identities with your own characters. Like, um... Well, I had an example, then I lost it, so never mind. Percy nearly talks to someone. Percy, we are here to listen to you ramble. Yeah, fair. I get... Oh, I'm not even thinking about what I'm drawing. Okay, so this is... We're on to Iceland now, and he doesn't really have much room, so I'm gonna just... <laughs> scoot him over, and then we'll move everybody around in a second. So, Tex, you said lanky, and I kind of am with you on that. Um... Yeah, he kind of just gives me lanky teen boy energy. The only real strong hit cannons like that are hung Hungary is peak by panic and Viet, Viet... I can't talk. Vietnam is probably Arrow Ace because she just has that feel. Yeah. I don't know much about her, but I get it. You know, I get it. She does give Arrow Ace. No, I was finding the post for Ice I want so hard. <laughs> Kind of, I'm gonna just go with my gut on this one and see where it takes me. Like, I feel like I've drawn ice before, not exactly like thin and scrawny, but like very straight. Not as straight as I like draw Stockholm. Stockholm is straight of just two rectangles stacked on top of each other. I. Pfft. I was, I was posing like he would have his hands in the pockets of a hoodie, but then I realized the whole point is to do body type anatomy things, so he wouldn't be wearing a hoodie. This also is like a pose that says, I'm gonna beat the f out of you. Got that teenage bod. Bean pole, exactly. I've tried to- drawing a bean pole body type is so hard, actually. Uh, be, be a, f be an, me, J Jesus Christ, me, be, and a friend of ours did a character challenge where we were all given a character and we had to take our, own, we each did our own design for the same description that we got off like a random generator site because we stole this idea from Drawfee. And one of the things was that, oh, he is built like a beanstalk or built like a bean pole. And I don't know why, and also, like, he was 15. I don't know why drawing a 15-year-old who's built like a beanpole and not making them look like, a, at most, a 17-year-old was really hard. Actually, where is he? I really liked his design. Where's my man, Louie? I'm thinking about him, and I want to see him, because I really, really like how he turned out. Louie, there you are! My little guy, my little scrimbo. My sweet scrunkly. I think I posted about him a bit on one of the discords, on like a discord. Um, but yeah, I did like a whole character turnaround doll thing for him. And oh, there he is. I have to be careful about what clothing layers. What? 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 Oh my god, I opened the file three times. Okay, yeah, Louis Zhang. I love him so much. My favorite little guy. But yeah, he's supposed to be 15, and I don't feel like I sold that enough. Um, he's a creative teenager who's on the run after being accused for several murders that he didn't commit. I love him. He's my little Link Kinney. But yeah, drawing the scrawny body type was really hard. But this is what I see when um, I think of beanpole. Wait, hold on, did I? Okay, I did give him undies. So when I when I originally made this turnaround, I didn't have these like shorts here because I just forgot. I really wanted to move on to the clothes because I wanted a doll that I could like try different outfits on him and I haven't done that. I really should. But yeah, it used to be a jump scare when I would turn off whole layers by accident and then it would just be an entire 
a whole body. But yeah. He didn't commit it. No, he didn't commit those murders. He's just an up and coming influencer who has very strong opinions about vegans. <laughs> he just likes to knit. He makes his own cardigans. He made this. He made this. He's a talented little guy who just wants to be a TikToker and have a YouTube channel where he makes cool sweaters and then gives hot takes about veganism. He didn't murder anybody, I swear. He did one. No! This is my sweet baby boy. I will not have you slander his name. Also, like, side note, I'm super proud of these stupid bracelets I gave him. I just think they're neat. Like, I don't know. I, I like them a whole lot. I gave him a lot of buckles. I thought they'd be neat. He, I love him. I, I love him. His hair is so stupid. I don't know how he got it like that, but he sure did. Jump, dumps giant motive to murder. Listen, he just thinks, okay, yeah, you got me there. Um, actually, it's super funny because B and I, we both took the heat, like, wrongfully accused of murders part of his character description very seriously. Like, yeah, he's a little sus, he's a little, he does things that could make him suspicious via the police, but he didn't actually commit the murders. He's literally, like, a 15-year-old. And then our friend, our dear friend who we love, went, oh no, mine did commit murder, actually. Many murders. And then they said his character is like, <laughs> and he's just covered in blood. It's just blood spot on his face. It was hot pink, too, like Danganronpa, which was actually hilarious. But me and B are both like, oh, he did commit the murder? And our friend goes, yeah, he did. And we're just, oh, okay. They're all still friends, though. <laughs> I'm just thinking of Jaden being, like, 15 and canonically smashing people's skulls in every night. Dude, are you kidding? Actually, where is Jaden? B, if you're watching this, like, if you just have this on in the background, and you can hear me, I need you to look away. I'm gonna pull up Jaden. We This is, Jaden is from another character design challenge that the three of us did and we are not done with it yet um i finished mine me and b finished ours early and then school started and so our friend is very busy and can't really finish the drawing so we're waiting so b hasn't seen Jaden. b if you're if you're listening if you're watching look away i'm pulling i'm pulling up the girl so this is Jaden. um I forget what exactly her character description was, and I- <laughs> That's really funny. Super cute. Um, and I actually want to redo this character sheet, because I don't like how she looks in some of these. I like her outfit, I like her design. Um, just some of the artistic- Hey, uh, B, I really hope you're not looking! <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think part of Jaden's description was like, kills bad guys on Tuesdays. So yeah, she does in fact murder. This is a 15 year old who does murder. This is a 15 year old who doesn't murder. Louis may, maybe, Louis, maybe, Louis, maybe you just need to turn in the murderer. Maybe the issue isn't that you're not the murderer, but you did conspiracy collaboration. No, they don't live in the same universe. This is a literal horse. That's just a guy. This is just some teenager. He has an essay on the Outsiders due this Thursday. This is a horse. <laughs> anyway, we got very off topic. Uh, B, it, it, I put, I put the, I put the girl away now. By the way, you can turn back. Is my name Anna? She does do a little. She does do a lot of murder under her own rules. Yeah. Nah, she's straight up vigilante. Anyway, that was a really long spiel about something really stupid. Um. 
Um, yeah, okay. Maybe it's kind of weird to have ice be facing toward the side and nobody else is, so I'm gonna do a different pose. Also, maybe I need to step away. Yeah, okay. What time is it? Nearly three o'clock, so it's been nearly two hours. So here, now it's time for our union sanction break. <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna... Okay, I'm gonna run to the bathroom. I'm gonna get some water. Everybody else, this is your time. This is your sign to get water and do some stretches. Maybe grab some food. B, yes, you can look back. But also, I'm leaving. <laughs> so yeah, use the restroom. Get some water. Do a little stretch. Get a little snack. Take a little walk. I don't know. I'll be right back. OMG, hi, I'm back. I have water. I stretched out my legs, which I just deleted that layer. Uh, which is so funny because when I got up to go use the restroom and get grab a beverage, <laughs> I realized how sore my legs are. I had to go in early to work yesterday and I was walking around different kindergarten classrooms and then I had to walk over and teach a sixth grade class art lesson, which, man, sixth graders, they're wild. Uh, wait, hold up. Proceed this pose. I don't know what you mean. Are you sending me things? Text if you're sending links in the YouTube, but they're not coming through. Like you're sending like this or this, use this, copy paste this, and there's nothing there. Like I, I just looked on my Discord on my phone, and there's still nothing there. The li There's no links. <laughs> Where are you sending them? Okay, wait, also. Cute idea. Ladonia is near Sweden, standing on his toes and failing to make himself as tall. Oh my god. Uh, no, I'm not going to include Lad Ladonia or Seelan. I don't really know. Um... Uh... I forgot what I was saying. I don't think we're gonna have time, cause granted, like I I got these full bodies out faster than I thought I would, but I don't think there's. I'm, I want to refine the sketches, so I think after 
finishing the rough sketch for Ice and then going in and doing cleaner sketches for everybody. I don't know if I'll have time to do Ladonia or Sealand. As much as I'd want to. Um, I mean, honestly, I just keep Discord closed during stream so I don't get any notifications. Like, I turn off everything that could possibly send me notifications on stream, but, um, yeah, I can pull it up on my phone and then just, like, send it to my computer. I'll just boot it up on my computer. That's convoluted. Also, I want to see chat. Okay. Um, okay. I see the body. Is this what you mean for the pose? Oh, yeah. yeah that gives teenage energy. I'll do that. <laughs> Done. Okay, uh, so that's what the arms are, and then the body's gonna kind of like all the way on the far leg with the other one kind of jutting out. Because that's not really... Yeah, I haven't done a pose like that. <laughs> Alright. Now for the boy. We're going with lanky teen energy. Hold on. Can I just- I don't draw Iceland enough. I really don't. I really love his hair. Whatever I decided his hair looks like for some reason, it's so much fun to draw. Okay, wait, hold up. He's still kind of like going to the side, which is not- well... Nah. He can be quirky. He can tilt toward the side if he wants to. So I'm gonna put on some different music. I love this piano, but I want some songs. <laughs> the boy. Yes, the boy. The one boy. Let's see what the algorithm is recommending me today. Amy's voice, Amy's dream, da 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 I wish I could play the- Okay, so recently I made some playlists. Oh my god, there's a 10 hour Carmel Donson strobe light video. No. Um... You know, on Spotify, I made playlists for some of my characters. It's Premon and then the three little kiddos. The cult- The cult trio. And I really like the playlist, but Spotify- I don't have Spotify Premium, so it would be, like, ads every two songs, and that's annoying. Should've, I should have made them on YouTube. Oh, but then I couldn't have a... Oh, here's one. You ever just listen to that song I sent? Did you ever listen to the song? The... Turn around, though. Yes. I did. I did. We can listen to that. Hold on, let me pull it up. Uh, where are you? There you are. I liked it. Honestly, energy. What body type are you going for here? Rectangle? I'm going for like, um, kind of rectangle, I guess. Just, like, again, like, flat teenage boy. 
I just love this type of energy from songs. drawing it's because I'm vibing. I'm sorry, this the energy is just divine. But yeah, I guess I'm going for like a rectangular body type. But like mostly bean pole. Maybe I won't Okay, well <laughs> looking like paint it white designs. Yeah, I feel like this is it, right? Right? Hold on, that... Oh my god, wait. Oh, I'm gonna put a song, I'm gonna queue up a song. Um, oh wait, if I look it up, it'll do it, go away. I'll just put it in the search. Okay. Ah, this is just so good. No, um, there's this anime I watched recently with some, not anime, I know there's, there's, okay. There's a specific word for anime made in China. I don't know what it is, but I know it's there. But it's this show called Link Click. And it was pretty good. I like. I enjoyed watching it. Um, it's one of those shows that has like really specific and interesting world building. Um, and they just kind of throw you into it. They don't explain it very much. You kind of just have to figure it out as you watch. And there's merit to that. Like that's interesting. But the opening. It's so good. I heard them playing it in the cafe by my dorm the other day. It was awesome. If it was in English, I can imagine Alfred singing it as a lullaby. Oh, Can't believe I keep going in and out of Miku Vocaloid. <laughs> like, Miku's Instant Crush by Astrophysics is amazing. Oh, I'm so into Miku dropped a song with, I don't, this band from, like, this, like, I can't remember, but there's a song, a sound going around on TikTok of Miku and this one band, and it's like a rock alt band. Like one of those emo bands you listen to in middle school because you're 12 and you have a, because you're, because you're 12 and angsty. But, okay, I'm going to play the link click opening now. But yeah, Miku dropped a collab, and I don't remember what the song is called or who the band is. But whatever. This is the link click opening and it's very good. Long to realize I'm reaching the back of my mind. Your eyes. There ain't nowhere left to hide behind. Also, like, I'm gonna pause it. The opening, like, animation itself is really cool because they use rotoscope to animate them dancing. And it's, it's not Vogue, but I don't know how to describe it, but it's cool. Anyway. Actually, if you can go deaf, give Miku instant crush a listen. Oh, absolutely. Oh, right. The the OP is like also very short. Okay, Miku instant crush sub espanol. Oh, <gasps> see. Si. Fun. I need to get.
get into Miku. I wasn't a Vocaloid kid um, in middle school. I was a skillet. I was a skillet kid in middle school. <laughs> like unironically, I was Imagine Dragons and Skillet kid, but also, well, in middle school. But I never got into Vocaloid. I got into Nightcore a little bit, but not really to any significant extent. Vocaloid was something I completely missed out on. Anyway, yeah. His shoulders are a little too broad. Okay. Oh my god. Wait, no. Okay, so shorter than Denmark, is he taller than Iceland? Oh, he... What? Oh, hold on, he's like huge. I don't understand what she's saying, but she's, she's spitting. She's spitting. Okay, yeah, shorter than Norway, which is what I wanted, but is he taller than Finn, which is very important. He is. Alright, um, I need to make his head a little smaller. Then I'm gonna scoot everybody up to make room for him. There he is! Oh my god! They're all here! Man, there's a lot of them. But yeah, here they are. They're all here. Yay! Just wondering, have y'all ever heard the song Ple Pledging My Love? I have not! Also, hi Kit Kat, welcome! I dyed my hair and smelled like ink. <laughs> R.I.P. girly. Uh, I recommend Big Fish by Zoshen. Zoshen. His voice is so... Emasculate? <laughs> you mean immaculate? Also ring the doorbell and listen to yourself. How are you guys? I'm pretty good, cat. I spilled coffee on myself earlier and I was wearing a white sweater. I was able to save the sweater, but my dignity is in shambles. But yeah, I think everyone's done. I just need to clean up the sketches and give them faces. And, um, clothes. Actually, before I go into the refined sketches, um... Any notes on the bodies? Adding anything? Altering anything? Um, something that just looks a little wonky? Wait. Norway still looks a little wonky, but I think that's just the body type I gave him plus how I posed his arm. Cause like... With his arm covering his, like, hip, it looks like his- it looks like he's built like this. Which is not the case. He's not a Pixar mom. So I really have to... Maybe I'll work with that. Oh, I need to make a note on Denmark's design, actually. That'll make sense. Um... The stick figure of <laughs> Sweden! I sent you a song, well, no, the sweater, ah ha ha. I casually roast herself. What else am I gonna do, man? The stick figure of Sweden. Literally, <laughs> I see you, Kit Kat. Kind of obvious who's who for me based off the heights. That's fair. Percy, you told me to remind you of the stick figure for my head can and the Sweden's height. Of course, of course, of course. I'm gonna put another sweet thing. Jez in parentheses. 
Sweden, Finland, Nor Norway, Denmark, and Iceland in that order. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, Jez, remind me... Wait, let me look at the heights that everybody ended up at. Okay, so we have... Let me adjust this so they're actually like on the plane. What 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 is your damage, computer? Move the image. Oy. I think my computer is about to explode. Okay, we're we're good. False alarm. Okay, so we have. Let's, mm, all right. We have Sweden at 180 centimeters, Finland at about 158 centimeters, Norway at 169, <laughs> Denmark at 173, it looks like, and then Iceland at a solid 160, maybe 161. Uh, 218. 7.71. Jesus Christ. Finn's body type. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. I'm the most proud of it. Den is always taller than Art. He's gotta be. And Iceland is taller than Finn. I think that's hilarious. Jess, thank you for putting that idea in my head. Um, I just said those heights out loud and then I didn't write it down. I, oh, man. At the, here we go. Uh, at the dorm, I always have paper and pencils for me to grab, but here I got a single highlighter. Oh, here we go. So, Sweden, I don't remember what I said. Finland, I don't remember what I said. Norway, I remember it was 169 because I laughed. Eh. Denmark, I can't remember. I, I think I said, like, 161. Sweden, uh, 180, which is very tall. 169 centimeters, nice. 71 for sweet? Is that what 180 translates to? Or are you talk? Oh, you're talking about jazz. Finland is about one, I'm gonna say 158. Denmark, 173. Oh, damn. So there is quite the difference between Sweden and Denmark. That's a whole seven centimeters. Oh, that's really funny. I like to think when they are younger, um, for the longest time, De Sweden was only one centimeter taller than Denmark, and then at some point, he j Sweden just started skyrocketing. Oh, wait, let me find that Miku collab song. I know she, I know Miku did a, okay, yeah, I know about the Ash Miku collab, that's good. Oh, yeah. Miku did a collab with the band Set It Off, which was apparently an iconic emo band from everybody's middle school years. And the cover is a parody on Neon Genesis Evangelion with um, Miku's face is the big angel face in the blood or whatever, which is hilarious. So I'm going to play Why Do I by Set It Off with Hatsune Miku because it sounded like it would be good. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, the tallest human recorded was Robert E. Wadlow of the U.S., 1918 to 1940, who was 8 foot 11. Jesus. Also recommended strongly is Opera 2, sung by Dimash Kudaibergonov. I think it'd be funny as hell if all throughout childhood, Norway and Denmark were both taller than Sweden, and <laughs> Sweden got a huge growth spurt. It's not hyperbole. If you look up the tallest people by nation, 7-3 is pretty common. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, wait. I have their heights in centimeters, but I'm also stupid, so I need to write them in feet inches because, uh, America. I wrote fat instead of feet. Okay, so... So 180 is 5'9", and no, no, 
No. No, 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 no. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work for me. Hold on, let me check something. Hold on, I'm looking something up. Okay, yeah, in the past I've made him 6-7. And 6-7... Okay, so six seven is a six seven is two hundred four centimeters. Is it? Wait. Okay, so yeah, six seven. That is not what I. Okay, yeah, six seven is about two hundred something centimeters. So by that metric, I'd have to make Sweden significantly taller, or I simply don't care. Well, I have to get going. I'm going to be modeling in a fashion show. Ooh, good luck. I'll see you later. You have fun. Well, in fact, the U.S. was originally going to adopt the metric system in the 1700s, but the kilogram weight and meter stick that were sent to the U.S. by France to be seen by Congress got raided by English pirates. That is so funny. Um, hold on. I'm going to play another anime opening that's really good. It's the Death Parade opening. Nice. Just make the bigger can- Oh, the canvas is already so big. My computer's not gonna like saving it when it's all said and done. So I think I'm gonna just not care, actually. Because I know... Hold on. First and foremost, if Sweden is gonna be around 200 centimeters... Which is roughly 6'7". I need to fix everybody's heights. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to have 20 centimeters on it, everybody. So, 178, 188. Oh, we lost the 169. 193, then 183. I don't know if this works the same the way I think it does. Basically, I'm saying it's England's fault the U.S. doesn't have a metric system. That's very funny. Hmm. Well, let me double check that this works the way I thought it does. Okay, so 178, which is Finland, is 5'8". That's taller than I would think him to be. Because then... one eighty three is 6'4". Yeah, no, uh, I'm not going to do that, actually. How about... Maybe I'm thinking too hard on this, guys. <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking a little too hard, which is very plausible. Did they all get stressed? Oh, I'm back. Okay, just gonna vibe. By the way, does anyone know how to rinse hair dye out of clothes? Because I don't know about stains, but I don't want them to spread into my other laundry. Um... I mean, if you got fresh dye on your clothes and you put them in the wash, if you have any whites in there, you are, in fact, going to stain them. If it's fresh dye, it will stain your clothes, especially your white clothes or lighter colored clothes. But you still need to wash it. So I guess the best thing to do to avoid it is either wash the dyed clothes separately. Like, do one load with only the clothes with the dye on it if you don't really mind the dye spreading onto those. Or if the color is dark enough where it won't show. But one way to another, don't wash the clothes with really light colored shirts or clothing. It will stain them. It will tinge the color a bit. As far as getting the stains out, I cannot help you. I do not know. Don't want to stain the college washers. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm going to be real. That's a fair point. Okay. 
Oh yeah, look at the material of the clothing, and then see how it reacts with the set with the dye that you use. That could be important too. Also, I'm pretty sure the temperature of the water you wash it in could affect it, but I'm not entirely sure. I was never clear on that. Okay. What if I simply... I'm going to write the heights that I see them in my head, and then I'll stretch them and squash them onto a plane that makes sense. So for him, I see him as 6'7". Oh, hold on. Let's just go play on the height website. This is really taking a turn. Hold on. <laughs> but I'll pull up the height comparison site. That's better to first Oh, oh, Okay, I'm going to go to the height comparison thing. We are going to figure this out because it is bothering me. Because I'm not going to just add 20 centimeters onto everybody, like I said. That's stupid. That's really dumb. So we're going to do this for a bit. Um, so let's start Sweden. And I'm going to put him at 200 centimeters, because that's about 6'7", which is what I want, I think. And then he's like... Yeah. No, male. Okay. So there he is. And then... I capitalize the I. Finland, I see, is like 5'5", five five, um, but I'm just going to... But more so, I see him at, like, again, like... Neck to shoulder length, or he's up to Sweden's neck shoulder area. That's about. Hold on. The 177 is familiar. I feel like I've done this before. What? Why am I getting a call? Why am I getting a call? Die. I I'm, I'm busy. I think I'm gonna do my regular laundry first while my dyed stuff soaks in the sink and then do the dyed load separately. That's probably your best bet. But again, look up like how the dye reacts to the cotton, not the cotton, the material of your clothing. Stuff like that. Honestly, I, should I? My mom is really good when it comes to washing clothes and how to go about cleaning them dependent on the fabric. Should I call her up here? No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. She's busy and also sick. 6-7 for sweet is a lot more reasonable in my head. You dare call me during an art stream death for a thousand years, basically. Okay, uh, then Norway. What if we put in at 180? Let me look at my drawing. Norway is kind of at like... Norway is at like brow height compared to Sweden in this drawing and that would be like around here man all of the norks are going to be tall damn that's actually pretty fitting so never mind so let's say 186 yeah what does 186 translate to Okay, so 186 is 6 1. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna make Finland shorter. I'm gonna put it back at 175. And then I'm gonna make Norway. One eighty. But no, that's not unless I make Sweden a little smaller, but I really don't want to. How, wait, hold on. Don't 
666. But so it's roughly like a solid 6-6. Six, six. That's what Sweden's at right now. And I want him to stay there. Maybe I just need to make my Finland shorter. Yeah, okay. Six seven is two hundred and four. Okay, so he's r roughly smaller than six seven. So, uh, six six is good. And then for Nor, get that open in there. Actually, wait. Let's see that one eighty again. Yeah, because I don't want Iceland to be that much taller than Finn. Let's just see how this all looks. Let's just see how this all looks. And then Denmark. Who? Let's put him at 193. And then last but not least, Iceland. A lot of purple going on in here. Let's see. Let's put him at 176. Mm, five. Yeah, six. Three inches taller than Finn. Oh, wait. Well, whatever. Why are they so close together? Order them by height to sh by highest to shortest. Can I move them around? Oh! <gasps> No, stop. Finn, I'm so sorry for the disrespect by making you the shortest, but you know what? It's funny. What do we think about this? This feels good. It's kind of funny how you have these three around the same height and then there's these two. <laughs> Maybe I'll order them by height on the final chart too. Okay, I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. This feels right. I'll pull it into MetaBang. Six six is two two two. Just take a screenshot. But the lyrics are so down. Mm -hmm. I keep taking screenshots and y'all keep recommending heights. Okay, yeah, I'll goof around with it more. <laughs> this is a really steady, like... Uh, Fembly Ice? What? Oh, right, I used a female model for ice by accident. Sounds like I'm advocating for gender non-conforming ice cubes. Femboy Ice? <laughs> Please link the site I'm using. Yeah, sure. I'll send it in the Discord. After stream. You might have to... Yeah, just because I play the piano. Not willing to take you down. I'm sorry. Oh, oh my, my, my. Um, yeah, I'll link it in the Discord after stream. Um, if all the time passes after stream and I don't, you might have to remind me I'm very stupid. Much better for Ice and Nor. Okay, yeah, nope, no more, no more edits. This is it. Also, why is the ca screen capture for Chrome so weird? It like cuts off most of Finland. Oh, you know why? It's because I think I have this page very zoomed out. 
that's why it looks weird on the thing. Sorry about that. <laughs> I didn't realize. Side. Screen's gonna get wonky again. What is it? Never been. No time trying to get to you, but you are out of my mind. Can I just say, not today. Alright, let's see if I could not be stupid about this. You can use my frame of reference, ignore. I was being taller than Finn, just kind of messing with my brain, but that's just because I usually imagine even short Finn being taller than Ice, much to Ice's annoyance. I think it's funny. Maybe, like, up until recently. Like, up until recently, Finland was taller than Ice, and then Ice hit uh, growth spurt territory, and he shot up, and Finn's like, wait, oh no, oh no, I'm the shortest one here now. Okay, I kind of have it lined up with Nor. Let me check to see if everybody else kind of lines up. And if not, I'll squash them. Squash them and stretch them. Okay, so Denmark. Oh, I don't have the straight edge tool. Denmark needs to be a little taller. Sweden as well. Denmark actually matches up pretty good. Iceland too. He's a, he's a little shorter, but I can just shave him. I can get away with it, I think. <laughs> Bald. Okay, so Nor, Ice, and Finn are good. They kind of match up. But maybe I'll maybe I will make Ice a little shorter. So Norway and Finn match up pretty good, but Denmark and Sweden need to both be taller. Okay. Let me get this situated. This is taking a lot of brain power that it shouldn't be. <laughs> okay, that's your color. And then the straight edge tool. Get that 202 in there. So that's how tall you need to be, sir. And then... Denmark. You also need to be taller. Not by much, but enough. Norway, you're good. Finland, you're good. Ice, you need work. Just a little shorter for ice. And then we're good. This is a lot more work than I was ready to put in. Oh, I should probably... Hold on, in my ref folder, I'll do this where I take down their heights, and also this plane that they're on. Perfect. And then let me just get these real quick. Nah, I can tell I got Finland wrong. Nice. Now we can get rid of that. And this. And I'm gonna turn off that layer. Ah, I shouldn't. Let me do this. I'm just gonna erase it. There's no point. 
You're spilling like an overflowing sea. Okay, sorry. I can just shave him. Percy grinds down ice like a block of wood. Cut down the knees. Stick figure takes a surprise amount of extra planning. I'm so sorry. I didn't think it turned out like this. Oh god, Jess. Jazz, he's so big. <laughs> he's so he's so large. I shouldn't have deleted the height thing. Hold on. Let me look at that again. So my the sui I'm drawing right now at two oh two is about eye level of your sui. Thinking of your morning, but it's not really you. You're dripping like a saturated sunrise. So your sweet would be about <laughs> about this tall. I hope this is what you mean by stick figure, by the way, because this is what we're getting. For your jazz, for your sweet dead. There he is. <laughs> oh, this is really funny. Okay, I'm gonna lock that layer so I don't lose it. All oh, right, I have to squatch and squatch and squatch and stretch. Can you make me beautiful? You touched me and suddenly I was a lilac sky. I'm so glad that's what you actually meant by stick figure, because it's very funny. All right, everyone should be at their appropriate height now. And I literally just forgot. I still have the thing up, so it doesn't matter. Never mind. Okay, you know what? I think we can go on to the refined sketches now. I don't know why I have the colors pulled up for them. I'm not coloring them in. I just need their eye color. Uh, yeah. Having them floating around so not by them is kind of stressing me out. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta move all this down. Okay. I was gonna order them back. I don't care. This looks funny. How are we gonna do this? I think I'm gonna go for drawing the body first because I feel like me drawing the face would take too much time out of something I can do on my own. I can't stop replaying that TikTok you made. I don't know what, I don't know what the hell you faded him, but he's too damn big. <laughs> I think about that one often. I thought that was pretty funny. So what's a good pen size we can use? Good old pen size seven. I don't mind if I do. Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna go straight into drawing the body. I'm not gonna draw the faces. That's gonna take too much time, and it's already been like two hours. I'm gonna try and make this sketch as clean as possible.
this is the part of the stream where I start going silent because I'm actually like focusing and thinking about what I'm drawing. <laughs> so, uh, you guys have something you want me to ramble about? Because I will gladly do that. That's something I could do <laughs> with my brain semi turned off. I have approximate knowledge on very stupid things that you guys can get me to talk about. My dog is going insane! What is up? Jeez. Reminds me of the orange puffle from the what? What? The old Club Penguin comedy series? What? I wasn't a Club Penguin kid. I was a Webkin's kid. I cannot relate to you about your Club Penguin memories. <laughs> really? <laughs> You know what this chest is looking like so far? <laughs> Do you remember that scene from the Spongebob movie where David Hasselhoff like sticks Spongebob Patrick in the crown between his pecs and shoots them into the water? That's what this is looking like. But I know that sometimes pecs will do this when they're not like pressed up together. They're kind of like separated like a little bit. I don't really know why. I, it, this just reminds me of when David Hasselhoff shot Spongebob and Patrick out of his ditties. I don't know why he did that. Why did they make that a thing? Oh, wait. I had <laughs> Greetings, Frank the Human Boy. How did you almost know my name? I have an approximate knowledge of many things. <laughs> I'm glad you got my reference. Actually, do you like sci-fi stuff? It depends. It, it depends on what the sci-fi stuff is. I have a very particular preference when it comes to sci-fi. I don't really know how to describe it. I can't really think of a non-example. Oh, wait, I can. Bright. Uh, the movie Bright with Will Smith in it. That was really weird sci-fi. I guess I was more fantasy than sci-fi. Um, what was a sci-fi movie I liked? Papa's Pizzeria. Hey, the Papa's Pizzeria. You played the Papa Pizza? Papa Beccaria. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I have very strong opinions on sci-fi. Like, okay. The Matrix, I wasn't a big fan of. That's kind of sci-fi, right? But I don't really have, like, a explanation as to why I didn't like it. Spies in Disguise is a sci-fi movie. Spies in Disguise? Spies in Disguise. Yeah, okay, you know what? Um, the cyberpunk, sci the cyberpunk, c cybertronic steampunk vibe that you were talking about for your sci-fi AU for Lichtenstein, Design as a Robot? Mm, delicious. I like that. Percy realizes she dislikes- I don't! I don't dislike sci-fi. There's not really any genre I really don't like. I feel like there can be some good movies in any genre. Or media, I guess. I should, could extend it to. There could be good movies in any media. A good Good media of any genre. Jesus Christ. I don't know. I just, I don't connect with sci-fi as much as I do, like, fantasy. Like, I tried writing a sci-fi based story when I was a freshman. When I was a freshman, when I was a freshman in high school, and it didn't really work well. I'm not really into sci-fi. I like magic. I like magic systems. But I'm trying to. What are some spies? Spy movies. Um, sci-fi movies. Also, what is spies in disguise? Also, never thought to call it steampunk, cyberpunk, sci-fi genre-wise. Well, I don't. That's just the energy that I got from it. You don't. You don't. I'm not saying you have to use it. I'm just. <laughs> That's what it kind of reminds me of. I like steampunk. I think that's a really cool aesthetic. But I don't really think that counts as sci-fi, because steampunk is a genre in and of its own. Fish Hooks was great when I was a kid, but rewatching it as an adult is so bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've seen clips. I keep getting those, uh, 
Hold on, let me remember what six packs look like real quick. Um... Wait, let me take a step back real quick at this body. I completely blanked out. Steampunk, cyberpunk, did you mean Treasure Planet? Ooh, the, the vibes of Treasure Planet are so good. <laughs> Treasure Planet has some good vibes. I like that. I like whatever Treasure Planet had going on. What is going on with this arm right here? Why am I struggling? Um, where did steampunk, I don't know, I think I associate steampunk with a specific color palette, and one of the pictures you sent as your reference for Robot Lichtenstein had that color palette, and then it's just stuck in my brain. Steampunk is a part of sci-fi. I found my TikTok in well I mean it's there, I haven't removed it from my TikTok. do this like I don't know what that's do. Yeah, you know, I need to draw the pants. God. <laughs> Whoa, I completely spaced out for a while there. My bad. Keep in mind, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein is sci-fi. Oh, yeah, fair. Um, I keep doing the thing, sorry. Um, yeah, I genuinely can't think of a sci-fi movie that I like, but I feel like... Wait! Is Mad Max Fury Road sci-fi? Discuss. <laughs> Because I love whatever Mad Max Fury Road was. The energy, the set design, the choreography, the story, the plot, the advertising campaign. Genius. Whatever Mad Max Fury Road had going on, I loved. Star Trek era sci-fi, that's fair. TVH my I'm trying to avoid that. Yeah, I don't know. I get... Yeah, I'm not a fan of... Like, space sci-fi can be cool, I can appreciate it, but I'm not really drawn to it. Star Trek and Star Wars, sure, I guess Star Wars is more fantasy than it is sci-fi. Um, yeah, I'm not as drawn to that kind of sci-fi. Is Speed Racer the movie specifically sci-fi? I don't know. I've never seen Speed Racer. Um, the way you drew yourself between Sweden and Russ makes you look like a child in that TikTok. With your with Sweden and Russ, as you call it, he's here. Dude, I look like a child because they're so enormously big, and I am literally 5'4". I went to the height comparison website, and I plugged in my height, your headcanon heights for them, and that is what I got. That is the re that is the reference picture I use to make that TikTok. I look like a child because that is my actual height. I'm trying to like figure out muscle definition for for speed, because like. 
I like to think he does have muscle. Not a lot, but like some. But he's not as like jocked out as um Denmark. Dystopic apocalyptic side of it. Okay, yeah. Sci-fi came love with other genres. Fantasy sci-fi is almost a genre onto itself. I love yeah, fantasy fantasy sci-fi, I like. Speed Racers, the second generation, it was definitely sci-fi because the racers went through freaking portals into the data world. Percy skipped the tutorial and forgot how to increase her height in the character. Co hey, listen. <laughs> how dare it? <laughs> I hate drawing legs. Knees specifically are such a pain. I don't want to draw feet. I don't want to draw feet. I can use my silly cop out that I did last time and give them all socks, which is a very funny look in, in hindsight. The <laughs> absolutely no clothes, bare skin, only boxers, and you are wearing socks. That's a pretty funny look. Also, these are very short shorts. Hmm. Leg muscles are weird. I feel like I've said this already. I mean, it's hilarious though. Like, I'm sure than you, but I love having Sweet and Tall. He gives gentle giant energy. You're right, he does. <laughs> anyway, back to the sci-fi genre talk. Yeah, I don't dislike sci-fi. I just, it's kind of hard for me to get into sci-fi stories, I think. Like, I don't, I'm not gonna like not watch a movie if you tell me it's sci-fi. I'll still watch it. But, I don't know. Like I keep saying, I connect more with fantasy than sci-fi. This knee looks so stupid. I think maybe I need to step away from this in a second. I'm not drawing the feet either. Oh, he's missing an arm. Sorry, guy. The sequel series had a really good concept but was very poorly executed. The concept was racing college where speed racers children attend and they race in digital worlds to minimize damage. With the added bonus of speed racer himself being on the run from an evil organization? What the heck? But it was poorly executed and nothing happened ever and then they introduced time travel and the show just got bad. Yeah, by the sound of it, yikes. Why do you think it's hard for you to get into sci-fi? I don't know. I, I really don't have an answer. I just enjoy fantasy a lot more I feel like in fantasy you don't this is me sounding like a lazy writer I feel like there's a weird pressure when it comes to sci-fi to have an explanation for everything and have a reason for things being the way they are that takes a no actual like that demands an actual understanding of science and how it works and how you can know you it's one of the like you need to know the rules in order to break them you need to know the rules of science in order to break them in your sci-fi world to make it interesting. And I don't know, I just... From a creator, writer standpoint, I just feel like you can do more with fantasy, I guess. You can have more fun with it. Also, I am personally in love with the vibe. With the dresses and the suits and the swords. I love the vibe so much. Just once in my life, I want to dress up as a princess. That's so much to ask for. And I think that's why I like fantasy. I just connect with them more as just a person and also a writer, I suppose. Also, this man needs some abs. And he shall get some.
Mm, is that my chocolate? Oh, wait. Mm. Of course, he doesn't like science confirm. No, I love science. I'm just stupid. I really love science. I love earth science and I love space and I love like marine science. Or I guess like that's that's actually like biology what I'm thinking about. I think science is me. I just don't have the brain to have a deep understanding of it. And like understand how they work and interplay with the sciences interplay with each other. I just don't get it. I can't get it. It's hard for me. <laughs> So like I like science enough. I like fantasy more. Uh yeah. I'll s let me look at actually like a reference of abs. Hold on. I feel like I've never remember how to draw abs. Wait, hold on. Me looking at speedways of the second generation, I could fix him. <laughs> And the swords and the dresses. And the, and the swords and the dresses. Gird thy loins, we're going slaying. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> that's really funny of you to say. Nah, but really I can get that, particularly in the context of the final boss of sci-fi, hard sci-fi. Honestly, sometimes I want to have a sci-fi AU with a fantasy aesthetic, but... And just see what it'd be like. Percy really calling yourself out to smooth brain. I'm gonna have to disagree with that, Chef. Sh <laughs> Chief. Look, I have a, I have a very wrinkled brain when it comes to very particular things, but everything else, dumb, idiot, fool. There's something very funny about looking at ab reference. Because you have, like, the actual anatomical studies that break down the muscles into shapes and zones. And then you have just, like, people slapping, uh, like, a thing of baked monkey balls on a generic anime boy. Both are very funny. Here we go. Why can't I find a reference for something that isn't an anime boy? I don't want a twink with abs. That is not what I'm looking for, Google. Whoa! Oh my god. That was a whole naked body. Oh, Jesus. Okay. The mention of Final Boss of Sakai randomly reminded me that in Persona 4 Golden, you get to kill four gods, but in Persona 5, you only get to kill two. Cringe. Kill more gods next time. You're right. Percy, I make you a trade offer. Teach me fantasy, and I teach you sci-fi. You see, the only thing I know about fantasy is you can make it up. Do whatever the hell you want, and then bam. Like, your idea of wanting sci-fi with fantasy aesthetics, I feel like it could be done. Like, and it would be really cool. In fact, maybe it has been done, I just can't think of an example. I feel like... I know it's out there, I genuinely just can't think of it. Also, if I have to look at these muscles any longer, I'm gonna freak out. Oh my god. I get it, I get it, it's anatomical practice why there's so many just naked men. What is going on? Oh, that's, that's a nose. <laughs> that is high Q fan art. <laughs> and that's an anime figure. Oh my god. Got fellas, that's a horse. <laughs> yeah, you see, per uh, Jez, I'm stupid. Once again. I look up things without thinking about the repercussions. Going through reps and getting smacked with nudity feels like walking through a peaceful park and then you suddenly step on a landmine. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly it. Giga chat at it and I'm not. At fantasy? 
once again, you just make up your own rules. Do whatever you think is cool. And then bam, you've got a story. I'm in the middle of a fantasy work in progress and only recently, only reason I don't write it is because the entire concept is an ongoing time loop. Ooh. Oh, that's right. Okay. Hold on. Um, Hold on. I need to make him, I need to make him uh, an ironing board real quick. Okay, 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 hold on. I need to break him down into more shapes. Also, I forgot there's like this, there's like this like diamond shape that uh, they... Th kind of like that. And so then it's like this, and then there's like a, a shape here. And then another one here that leads into the, the, the thing, the pelvis, the pelvis, pelvic bone. I know anatomy. You know, I was actually going to take an anatomy class in high school. Um, I didn't for whatever reason. And I'm so glad I didn't because in one class they had to dissect cats. And I don't think I could have done that. Not me. I would have freaked out. Dissecting a literal brain? Yeah, a heart? I could do it. I've dissected a starfish before. A uh, cat? No. This had the weird consequence of making him look like he has a gut. Oh wait, why am I stupid? Maybe I can make sci-fi fantasy of you at some point if you would care for that. That'd be cool. Chris, if you call yourself dumb again, I'm going to show up at your house and bop you with your own College of Education acceptance letter. Stop lying to people. <laughs> but, like, what I said earlier is true. When it comes to very specific things, I am intelligent. I know that. Like, I can be smart. But when... It comes to most other things. I'm not very, I'm not very smart. Math and high, math and science, not very good at it. Apparently, geography, I'm, I'm pretty good at. I still, I recently, like, occasionally will uh, pop into Satara and check to see if I still remember where all the countries are, and it hasn't changed. I've dissected a starfish before. Pardon me, Percy. Can Explain that- what? Yeah, I, I- Yeah, I dissected a starfish in 7th grade. Wait. 6th grade. Yeah, 7th grade I took earth science, 6th grade I was in biology. Oh, hold on, I'm losing- I'm losing this man's body. But yeah, no, in sixth grade, I took a life science class, and the big field trip of that year, because every year there's like a huge field trip the grades went, each grade went on, and the big trip that year was going to the Keys, the Florida Keys. So to kind of prep for that, we did a lot of, um, uh, we did a lot of research and projects based on, like, marine life, and one of them was dissecting a starfish. We were gonna dissect squids too, but I don't, uh, something, I don't remember, Honky Dory went awry. Uh, not Honky Dory, Catty Wampus, that's the word. Something Catty Wampus happened and we didn't have any squids to dissect, so... Uh, we just got to do the starfish. And I don't really remember how it went down. I just remember our teacher saying, yeah, these starfish were, like, they, these starfish died when they were in their mating season, so you might see starfish babies or like some weirdly inf prepare yourselves for this. This is, he said, inflated genitalia. But then we had to look for the genitalia to see if we were dissecting a male or a female starfish, because that was part of our project in our paper we had to write. Uh, it was weird. I literally don't remember anything from the dissection, just that I did it. 
But yeah, and then in fifth grade, we dissected a cow brain, a cow heart, and a sheep's heart. That was something. It smelled so bad in the classroom. Also, why is this taking so much of my brain power? I guess I kind of do this. Uh, oh wait, I, I blanked out. 73 in physics, I'm... Okay, well, in defense of that, physics is really hard. Physics is such a hard class. I don't know why they make it intentionally very hard. There's still a few hours. So you specialize in things. You're still smart. Eh. Eh. Terrible geography. I just know the countries because of Italia. I will say Italia did help, weirdly enough. But in general, I, like I know I'm good at memorization. I can memorize things really quickly. That's why I was such a good test taker. I memorize the material and then I dump it on the test, and then I move on with my life and forget everything from the test. I actually had the best scores in my American history class in high school because our teacher gave us a study guide that was literally copy-paste of um, the questions he would put on the tests. And I just, I would memorize the entire study guide. I'd memorize the entire study guide and like weird things to connect the answer to the question. And, and yeah, and I would pass. I would get only A's in his class. I was the first... I was his first student to get a perfect 100 points on the um, chapter 1 exam. He had never had a student get 100 points on the chapter 1 exam, and I was the first one, and he actually came up to me after I turned in the test. I was the first to turn in the test, and he walks over to my desk, and he was a very tall man, so he, like, kneeled down. It was very hilariously awkward. And he goes, Percy, I just, I, want, I wanted to, how did you study for this test? I went, I... I went over the study guide and I re I reread my notes from the book. Stayed up all night studying. And he goes, mm -hmm, okay, okay. And then he walks away and that was the end of that. I think that implies that he thought I cheated somehow. Or maybe I had some genius life hack for studying. I don't know. I'll never forget that. I rode that high. I rode that high for so long in that class. Procedure for starfish trauma. It's somewhere in there. I also just have a really bad uh, long-term memory. I can memorize things, but when it comes to like things that happened in my childhood, I can't remember nothing. Okay, I have some abs pulled up in my ref window, so now maybe I can actually get some get some of this work going. Okay, but on the sci-fi fantasy AU, I'm just imagining, like, Nor being a wizard who also does IT work for the rest of the Nordics as his day job. Percy was so good, he made the question, per teacher question if she cheated. Giga <laughs> and, No, but honestly, that is a testament to how silly his tests were. You literally, it was word for word the questions on the study guide. Word for god dang word. And then the final exam, which was like a statewide thing that it was very important for everyone to pass. It was, his study guide was word for word the questions that would be on the exam. I got a perfect five on the final exam because it's, well, the info is just there. That's a, actually, that's not even a testament to his testing style. That's a testament to how whack the standardized testing is. It all, <laughs> you know that one Drake and Josh meme where it's instead of Megan, it's Reagan. <laughs> Standardized testing. I just swear to God, if someone links it back to Ronald Reagan, I'm gonna freak out. This looks silly, Goofy. This is like being so good. Wait, this is like being so good. In an FPS, you get accused of aim hack. A oh, first person shooter, and you get accused of aim hacks. Like, that's when you know you beat. I found out in eighth grade that the girl from my sixth grade geography class, who had the best grade, 
was a Hitalia fan. That explains so much. Dude, I got into Hitalia right around the time I was taking an AP Euro history, AP European history class, and we had to, <laughs> at one point, we had a geography quiz, like, we had a map quiz, because, you know, if you're gonna take an European history class, you need to know the countries of Europe, so, <laughs> and my friend who took the class with me, they knew I had watched Italia, they knew, so, <laughs> when the teacher <laughs> handed back our scores, handed back our tests, my friend just, we sat in the front row of the class together. My friend leaned over and they just looked at me. I could see them looking at me from their per from my peripheral. I didn't make eye contact with them. I knew what they were looking at me for. I knew what they knew. <laughs> also, I see why this looks silly goofy. I'm taking a lot of time on this. I'm very sorry. Weirdly enough, I think drawing chubbier body types is easy. Now that I'm like actually trying to work on this. Okay, I'm gonna, let's get blocky with it. Let's get Minecraft with it, fellas. We break it down into blocks, we break it down into shapes, and then we uh, can live. So I'm not kinda like, goes down and then out because I have on the belly button that's when it goes down like that and then it kind of like in that area and then the pelvis yeah okay um I'm trying to don't make designs as harsh Percy, do you have Minecraft? Reject <laughs> Wait, reject humanity, embrace Minecraft. You're right. The downside of being an Italia fan is imagining Italia was said. Oh, you're right. You're so right. Viking history hits so different after being <laughs> after watching that goddamn show. <laughs> anyway. Actually, wait, Percy, do you have Minecraft? I did, but I had to uninstall it from my computer because when I would run it, um, my computer would crash. I like Minecraft. Um I really do. I would love to play it if I had a better computer. But I do not have a better computer. Oh my god, sir, your pants. I'm so sorry. There we go. Oh, he still is missing. I don't care. I'm moving on. Hi. I'm gonna make folders for each of them. That just makes it easier on my brain. I think what I'll end up doing, um, because, yeah, it's four o'clock. <laughs> I'll refine these sketches as much as I as much as I can stand to be live, I guess. And then I'll refine them later, like of my own time. Like and he's yeah, he's still there. Okay. Bye bye. More bye. Okay. Perso. <laughs> get a better PC so you can get Minecraft. These computers are expensive. Mine still works to get let me do my school work, so I I don't really want a new computer. Drawing short this men is hard in it. Weirdly enough, yes, but I feel like I'm gonna slay when we get to Finland here. This is a shirtless man <laughs> with whom I can trust.
Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting into a uh, frick. I forgot about fingers. Get it for Christmas. No! <laughs> Any chance you'll continue this next week? Because that's also an all- Oh! Wait! Wait, yeah. Actually... No. That might not be a possibility because... I, I kind of want to finish it. I'm having fun with this. Like, I really enjoy doing these anatomy things. So, I'd want to... Like, draw this on my own, you know? <laughs> Back, what'd you miss? Uh, we started on the refined sketches, but I struggled a lot with the muscle work on Sweden, so he looks a little stupid. And also, uh, no head. So I'm gonna just do, like, a little bit of refined sketching for everybody. And then move on. And then, like, end stream, because it's been a while. It's, I've been streaming for a bit. I really enjoy watching your draw the whole process because I learn a lot. You draw the whole process. Oh. I appreciate that. Quite frankly, this is a. I bit off a lot with this one. I think doing the three body types like I did last time was good. But this is five. I thought I could squeeze it because I had a very specific idea for some of them and I already had Finn. I just needed to change it a bit based on what I've drawn recently. So this was a lot. Um, I might not finish it, but yeah, next week I can do more of these body type things. This is fun. And I will continue to not... Uh, uh, I, I full court. Denmark is me hazy. Oh yeah, no, I draw Denmark with dimples. And I also, uh, because I had canon... Not that I had canon. Yeah. I guess I just had canon in it. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see Denmark and Sweden as brothers, so I also draw Sweden with dimples, but, um, because he doesn't smile much, you don't really see them. So when you see the dimples, that's when you know Mr. S Mr. Sweden is having a good time. But yeah, Sweden and Denmark, I both give dimples. Uh, maybe next week do the hit. Oh, I already read that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I did Ukraine on the last one, which I really like how she turned out, if I remember it right. Um. But yeah, I can do more of the girls. I have an idea for Hun. Pfft, Hun. For Hungry. <laughs> I have an idea, and that's, uh, Beefy. Not Ukraine BB. Ukraine is the probably the buffest girl. I see as like the buffest girl of the cast. Um But yeah, no, that sounds like fun. I really like doing these. It also gives me a chance to do a bit of art studies. And like work on my own art style a bit. Especially if I actually looked at reference, but I don't. Or at least I should. I have for some, but because there's a lot, I really didn't spend a lot of time looking at ref. I forgot I didn't draw his other foot. <laughs> oh my god. Finland is looking pretty good, I think. Ow! What in the world? 
Neo Scotland winning. I have a lot of ideas to be prepared. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I've already drawn, yeah, I've drawn Neo Scotland before. And I feel like I did best I could to translate what I see her body type as, which is thick but ripped. We don't really see his collarbone that much. I really like how this arm looks, actually. <laughs> I'm not drawing his feet. Did I draw the feet on Sweden? <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> oh, look at them. They're standing next to each other. Hold on, wait. Okay, I really do like how this body turned out, but now that I'm looking at him, I think he's a lot thicker than I normally draw him. Which, like, yep. Oh, yeah, but. Hold on. I really want him to. I really want him to match what I've been drawing. Hold on. Not, I'm not going to squish him too much, just a little. Suggestion if you do the girl Seychelles Khan Vietnam. I feel like they would provide you with good and different body times since you've already drawn Ukraine. Yeah, right. And I've been wanting to redo my Seychelles design, so that gives me an opportunity. May I add Liechtenstein in Belgium? I have ideas. Oh, I have a very specific idea for Belgium's body type. In fact, I actually like broke it down one time in a sketchbook. Um But I don't think I want to do five again. <laughs> Because this is, whew, this is so much. Um, I think three would be good. Hungry is definitely one that I want to do. Just because, you know, like, she's act she is the woman of the show. Um, so Hungry is definitely one of the women. Um, what are other women? Oh, right, uh, say, okay, wait. Uh, I said I really want to do Seychelles because of the design. I'm getting another, a big gone. I am busy. Um, oh my god. Um, three in a row? Get a hint, jeez. Um, what was I saying? All oh, right, Seychelles. So Hungry and Seychelles are definitely two that I want to do of the three that I'm willing to draw. Percy Belgium versus Emile Be Belgium? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Another option could be why, if you want to practice drawing children. I do need to practice drawing child. Seychelles hungry and why? I don't want to do Vietnam. But we talk about Italian women. Czech, hungry, like just saying Ukraine, Belarus, Monaco, Taiwan, Vietnam, Seychelles, and also Belgium. Lichtenstein maybe? Ah. I don't know. But I, okay, Lichtenstein, yes, very cute, love her. Um, but hold on, hold on. <laughs> um, I completely turned off my brain for a second. Um, <laughs> I kind of want to draw Vietnam, just because I don't draw a lot of 
the Asian characters, countries from the show. Like, I've been meaning to redo my China design as well, but the last, the only, the first and only drawing I did of him is atrocious. Like, actually. So, I've been meaning to redo his design and also just in general draw more of the Asian countries. Um. Does that make sense? Does that make sense if I'm breaking down the bits and pieces, I guess? Um, but not really if I actually draw it. So yeah, I think I might do Seychelles, Hungary, and Walk. I literally just said Vietnam. Seychelles, Hungary, and Vietnam. So one of the mix because he's my favorite fanboy. Oh my god. Good save say for no stream since you're doing a total redesign. Well, I already kind of did a design in the last one. I know obviously I'm not gonna draw her hair like that, but I have a better idea of what I want her to look like now. Viet Vietnam is great. I have who knows all about her and has a ton for her. Oh, wait, no, I get, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. <laughs> I know I forgot why on purpose, because she is a girl, not a woman. Fair. Yeah? Maybe the heavy girl is in two to three parts then. Oh, you know what? Actually, that would be kind of cool. Make it make this like actually a series. <gasps> wait, oh my god. No, wait, that's such a cute idea. The first one, I'm not gonna count it, because the only person that I think actually looked good in that one that I know I said I liked Ukraine. But I think the only person who turned out good in that last body type stream I did was Lithuania. I love how he turned out. Actually immaculate. But, I think it'd be super fun to do these body type streams, like, as a series, like you guys are talking about, where I use the same plane of reference and the same height charts, like, oh my, wait, did I delete it? Oh, I totally deleted it. I'll get it back on here. I'll get it back on here. But, yeah, I can use the same height charts, and then that can be a fun way for me to have, like, a baseline, not a baseline, but like a database of all the heights so that in the future when I draw them, it'd be a little easier. So like next week when I do this again, because I, I, I really like these. I enjoy these a lot. Th these and the character designing streams I think I love the most. Um, so when I do this again, then I'll just pull up this file. I'll have all their heights in them. Then I'll do, I'll make this like all one folder. And then I'll make next week a new folder with other people in it. And then have them all be compared to each other. Why did you delete it? Because a lot of layers stresses me out. I don't like it. That's why I put everything in folders. And it doesn't matter. I have all their heights written down. I still have the photo. It's just not on MetaBang anymore. Having a lot of layers open on MetaBang stresses me out. Having a lot of tabs open on Google stresses me out. I, it, it's cramped. I don't like it. It's too much to look through. I can't, I can't, I can't do it. Also, what do we think? How does he look? Because I think he looks pretty good. He just needs pants. You know what actually is something I don't really draw in, like, detail? is like, body hair. Now that I think about it. Because, like... Like, on legs and arms, I don't really draw it that much. I except on Scotland, but... Huh. Why don't I do that? What happened to the music?
I'm getting nervous about deleting anything. Fair? You know, that's valid. Oh, the video paused. <laughs> You know you can put folders into an alpha folder. You know what? I could. Which is probably what I'm going to do on this. Nordic culture folder can be put in the master folder you call Nordic. So I think I'm going to. Percy going to draw body hair? Maybe? I don't know. I, I need to think about adding body hair more. Because like if I'm being honest, men get hairy. <laughs> I don't know if you guys knew that. But also, I don't know, like, if they have darker hair, I feel like it would show up more. Also, I'm realizing I'm giving them all, like, girls' volleyball uniform shorts, which is pretty funny. <laughs> hey, wait, no. I'm not gonna change it. I think that's actually hilarious. Have you seen when uh, the Olympics was going around? Did you see all those memes coming out? Because, like, I think, didn't the whole team get disqualified because, or a female volleyball team, because uh, they refused to wear the uniforms because they were literally just bikini bottoms? And then all those memes started circulating of proposed male, or uh, men, male football, no, male volleyball team uniforms. <laughs> it's just like a speedo. <laughs> I think those are funny. That could be neat, honestly. Since besides Scott and maybe France, I never see- Yeah, no, exactly. Also, I can't imagine they all are smooth, clean-shaven. Oh yeah, let me speak as a boy that has been in the boys' locker room. There's a ton of variability with body hair. Well, I knew that much. I remember when I did that, um, Scott- that- that shirtless Scotland piece all that time ago. I remember when I did that, I literally started, like, I literally looked up different body hair variations for chest, on for men's chest hair. Wow, you'd be surprised. I think I even, like, brought it up on stream and talked about it one time. Fairness, they're all blonde, so even if they had hair, like, they wouldn't be very visible. My eyebrows are blonde, and they're just visible when I get sunburned during the summer. Oh, that's funny. I mean, that sucks that you... The burnt part, I, but, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> you want to stop sexualizing women for equality? I want to sexualize men for equality. We are not the same, the internet over uni Olympic uniform drama. No, they're right. They're right. It's called equality. <laughs> so there's no more. I'm realizing I'm only doing, like, the shoulders and chest now, which is kind of funny. Quite frankly, that's probably the easiest part. And the part that I feel like is the easiest to translate body type. I feel like if you draw a torso up piece, you could sell the body type more, or just as effectively if you were to draw a full body. Oh, why did I cross his arms? I know why I did, but drawing muscular arms crossed is difficult. Wait, no, wait, no. I'm redhead. I always get sunburnt in the summer. I'm used to it. Bro, me too. I have a really bad tan line right now from wearing, like, my polo as a v-neck at work. So I just have, like, one tan spot on my chest and everywhere else is so pale. Uh, I still have, like, the remains of a sunburn from when I went fishing in New York. Or from when I was in New York and we went fishing. Because, wow, the light reflecting off the water hurts.
you guys can't see it because my avatar is covering it, but there's something very, hold on. There's something very funny about that just being in my ref window. <laughs> I'm really chiseling these arms. Good. What if we do body hair at some point? We absolutely have some. Oh yeah, you can't see it though. He's very light blonde. But blonde, so people are like, is it even there? I'm just gonna shove both of his arms. You can, yeah, you can cross your arms with both of your hands tucked away. I'm just gonna do that. What's with the 2012 MW2 compilation music? Dude, I don't know. I just, I have YouTube on autoplay. I picked a random playlist earlier and I don't really even know what it's on anymore. weird that I wasn't expecting from this breaking down armor specifically the arms it kind of helps you visualize anatomy better at least it does for me like whoa because like I, I don't know how to screw it like when you're drawing arms something that I found myself doing a while ago was making the arms very long and then the muscles by extension very long. But when you look at muscles on people, the muscles aren't long, they're not. And the thing that threw me off is especially when arms were like at this position because you know, you wanna make them longer, you wanna extend it down to here, you wanna do this, but that's not what they look like. No, the muscle actually would end like right about here-ish and then there's like a divot and then it goes back to being like a muscle. And then you have your elbow. That's how armor is broken down. Armor is broken down like that, obviously because it needs to take into account mobility and if the, what's this part of your arm called? I don't remember, I literally can't remember. But the like bicep part of your arm, if you had it, if you had your piece of armor go all the way from like the pauldron on your shoulder to your elbow, you wouldn't have that great of mobility, especially, so they cut it off way above the elbow to kind of, you know, give you that mobility. And then they put something on your elbow to protect it. Um, so uh, with that in mind, it kind of helped me shorten up the muscles to make them look a little, like, correct. If that makes any sense. Like, if I were to draw armor on him, like, like say he has, like, a pauldron, right? pauldron and then he has his shoulder armor not like arm armor like it's gonna be like this because if it went down to his elbow he would not be able to put his arm up like that and then you have your other piece that whatever looks like your gauntlet piece if you will so then you have this break right here and it kind of works like that with the muscles just a little bit there's not as much bulbous, you can't, I'm making like gestures with my hands at my own piece, you can't even see it. But there's not as like, 
bulbous of muscle right here. It's all kind of focused right here in these specific parts of your arms and then of course your shoulder. Um, so that's something that you can keep in mind when drawing muscle is that there's this like dip to make room for the elbow because that's a bone right there. That's why there's not mus bulbous muscle. It's bone. So there's not going to be as much muscle crowded around it. It's, it's joint bone and it's just, it's just not how it works. So it's the same with fat distribution too. Your fat will kind of like go down. It, it goes out and then it'll come back in for your elbow. And then like layer over if you have a lot of fat, but regardless, you still have that like bone part. So fat or muscle will not accumulate much around the arm or the elbow. So weirdly enough, thinking about armor kind of helped me be able to break it down. Same with like the wrist. Uh, that was a long winded rant on something really silly. But yeah, that's something to kind of keep in mind. Weirdly enough, drawing armor for the Fantasy AU and for D&D kind of helps me with uh, my muscles. Not mine, drawing them. Anyway. Hi, Midnight City! I did not know MCC was on today. I never do. You can't place plates on joints or your whole horribly limited mobility. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's why modern uniforms, even full body armor, has different sections for the joints and the sections. Yeah, like think like elbow pads and shoulder pads. Specifically made for the joints to protect them so that you still have mobility, but they're, you know, they're protected. Anyway. <laughs> Hi, Midnight City. The as the title suggests, we're doing body type head cans for the Nordics. I'm on Denmark right now. I'm struggling with it. This clavicle looks a little lopsided. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're doing. CC is always on these days. Who's winning? <laughs> yeah, wait, yeah, who is winning FCC? How's that going down? I need to get better at drawing armor. That's just a sign. Not an L. My fit. My D and D at you. I have so many McElroy audios saved up for the D&D AU. I need to do those. I really love my Dwarf Sweden design a lot. I think it's very funny. Something for your mind. Hold on, I'm gonna tilt up this elbow a little bit. The history of the eternal armor and weapons. When a thing is fascinating. Oh, no, you're right. <laughs> we should do D&D &D sometime again. Yeah, that's on me. <laughs> I want to play D&D &D more, period. I have some... I should never become a DM. Anyway, uh... Have a whole D&D... Oh, server D&D. &D. That'd be fun. Dude, I also just want to do D&D. &D. <laughs> I have a coworker who's working on a campaign with their boyfriend. And it sounds so cool. They're doing two separate campaigns that kind of like go on around the same time. One is Greek mythology themed and one is Norse mythology themed. And you know I'm in on that Norse one. You know I didn't take Viking history for nothing. And I literally like revamped an old character of mine to make her more, give her more like, Nordic themes, like symbology and dress wise. I I'm so excited. I cannot wait for her to tell me more about this. Yeah, I think I'm done with that portion of him. So I know, right? Of course I don't know anything about the story, because if I'm going to be one of the potential players, the DM is not going to tell me the story. Well, they could, and actually I'd probably forget. My last DM actually did that. He spilled the entire 
plot and all of these characters for his D&D campaign, and then the time came to play it, and Die Full 4. Of course, we never finished that campaign, but... What are the chances that you actually finish a D&D campaign, am I right? B, don't look at me. <laughs> I already know. So Mustard Mummies are winning. Right now, 5-up Gene Nelly sapnapping someone I don't remember. I also have <laughs> Dude, playing D&D &D is difficult, not in the actual, like, gameplay part of it. Again, the gameplay is not the hard part. The hard part is making your character and getting all those stats ready. But it's finding people who want to play, finding a DM who is good and will let you have fun. That's another big thing. Some DMs are so strict about the way you play their game. And, you know, I respect that. D&D can be a strict game. It has all the rules there for the people who want to be. I am personally of the mind that D&D should be fun and silly goofy and not so serious. But if that's what you want out of your playing experience, literally go for it. That's the whole point. D&D is an open-ended thing. Anyway. But, yeah. That's the hard part, is finding people who want to play, finding a DM who is good and, like, tells the stories you kind of like. And then, you know, of course, learning how to play. I still don't really know how- I don't remember how to play a rogue. One of my favorite characters to play is a rogue, and I don't remember how to play her. My DM literally had to send me three different instructional videos on how to play a rogue, just so I didn't have to deal six damage every turn. I went from dealing six damage to, like, nearly- Double that. It's 12, I can think it's 6. But, yeah. Scheduling is hell. That's true. DD is a lot of fun. I burnt down a bridge today. That's right. After it offended me by dropping our loot after a pesky fight. Oh, that's so funny. I'm very happy we got context behind the burning bridge situation. These are some all night looking words. Another weird anatomy thing, ankles are always so much thinner than you think they are. It's weird. Like, I don't know why. But Jesus! <laughs> I am not advertising myself as the best DM. I, that is not what I was intending to do. I am not a very good DM. I'm still very new to it, so I'm not that great. I just let the players do whatever they want because I think it's funny. That's what I think D&D should be. Okay, not, of course not everything I want. There are still some rules that I need to, like, we need to apply. <laughs> Like, you want to be a glittery cowboy themed magical girl with rainbow colored hair? Hell yes. Yes, you can do that. You want to be an overpowered bird man that can just do anything right off the bat? And they're. No. No, you can't. <laughs> I'm gonna add seams to the underwear. That just makes sense to me. Well, you wouldn't see it for Nora. Would you see it for Finn? You would. Oh, Jesus. I, whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa, I was not ready, <laughs> I was not ready, <laughs> I've never, first of all, his knees are huge, 
I've never really uh, tried to draw leg, like define leg muscles, and now that I have, oh wow, that is something. It sure is, isn't it? Elodie, I miss Elodie too. Jesus and D&D &D would be quite a thing to see. <laughs> Just post. Oh, post it, post it, gotcha. Neo Finn is the tallest of the girls. I think that is so right of you. I wish my DM was as lax as you. Oh, do they have like harsh campaign rules? Again, I think my laxness actually is like a probably a cause for concern as far as gameplay goes. No, I, I feel like I folded my clothes into the, the, the rules. There was one point in the campaign where, like, part of my story, like, counted on everybody going to bed in this tavern, but one of my players, who, B, you know who I'm talking about, one of the players in this campaign, really just loved, he never intentionally pushed my buttons. It was more so we are two very different players with two very different storytelling ideas, and he would do things that would just make me wildly uncomfortable or go completely against what I needed in the story, or like what I expected, how I expected everyone to react, and how I expected the story to go. One of which being, I wasn't expecting him to go so hard with flirting on my cool Naga lady who sold jewelry. That made me very uncomfortable, because he was flirting with me. Um, but then, we were in a ta they were in a tavern, everybody was like gonna go to bed, there was gonna be like an attack in the night, and they all kind of like were roommates. And he really just insisted on staying downstairs all night and drinking himself into a stupor. So I gave him some knockout, I gave him a shot of NyQuil knockout juice. <laughs> it was very funny. Actually, I don't remember if that was relevant to the story, but it was funny to do. Oh, another time he was like, oh, by the way, uh, my class allows me to have one informant in every city or like my alignment allows me to have an informant in every city that can tell me about like general goings on within the walls and I'm like what you didn't tell me this you didn't tell me this before the start of our campaign Preston which was his character's name he had no respect for you being the DM and running the story because he was just so used to DMing, which was aggravating. A little bit, yeah. A little bit, yeah. I play with one of my friends, one of my sisters, and another sibling. We live in three different cities and we all do our own schooling in different places. It's hard to schedule, it, yeah. You know what would be funny at some point if you're comfortable with the received D and D by the stream? Maybe you can DM while streaming us in the Discord call and you DMing us. That would be fun. I think my computer would die if I was streaming uh, myself streaming D as DM. Also, also, I like having my camera on. I like my players being able to see me when DMing. I, I didn't do that at first, but now I know that's what I like to do. And I do not feel comfortable streaming my face. Not yet. I don't think I <laughs> ever will. I literally had a TikTok posted of myself, like just straight up me, and then I posted it. It got no views after two seconds, and then I got scared at the concept of it getting any views, and then I took it down. I took it down so quick. So, yeah, as fun as that sounds, I, I don't think I could do it. Uh, 
Arslan, I'm giving the bot of the anime protagonist, I'm realizing. <laughs> Maybe just only do it in the Discord. Yeah. I don't expect you to stream your face. Well, yeah, I'm not going to. Not on my YouTube. On the Discord, well, I, I don't know. I don't know yet. On the one Discord, on the one Discord where I have streamed my face, I'm fine with doing it there, obviously, because I've done it. But yeah, no, in general, I'm not quite ready for that. I think people would laugh. <laughs> I think people would laugh at me because I look, I have a very much uh, baby face. Yesterday, um, I got called in early to work to substitute in the kindergarten wing. And I was just like, I was just bouncing around between all the classes. And then literally, like I get in, I clock in, I go to the classroom where I thought they needed me. I went to the wrong classroom, but it didn't matter. I went to every single kindergarten classroom, so it's not like it mattered anyway. Um, his body is very long. Wait. Yeah, hold on. His torso is way too long. What is going on here? Uh, but right, anyway. Uh, all the teachers, like the kindergarten teachers, they walk in, they talk to the teacher I was with, they see me, and they're like, oh, you're helping out today? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, okay, great, I might need you. And I'm like, you got it, that's what I'm here for. And then the art teacher walks in. The art teacher walks in and goes, oh, you're subbing for me today, by the way. Did you know that? And I go, no, I did not. And she goes, yeah, your manager, the manager should have texted you. And I look at my phone. Lo and behold, two minutes ago, my manager did text me, asking me to sub in for the art teacher today. And I go, because I was, I was supposed to leave at like 11, but the art teacher needed me at 1230. So that was an issue. And I go, yeah, uh, sure, I, yeah, I, I'll do it. I just said yes. It's extra hours, that means I get paid more. And uh, one of the classes that she had that day, she had two third grade classes and then a sixth grade class. I was going to sub in a middle school classroom. And I was scared. They were fine, spoiler alert. It was fine, they were really funny. One of the kids... One of the kids gave me a drawing he was working on when I walked in. It was a Rick from Rick and Morty. <laughs> but it looked good, and I'm fully there for supporting young artists. So I saw a lot of students just doodling in their sketchbooks, and I let them do it. If, they were, if we're in art class, I'm going to let them do what they want. Like, it's not like they were doing anything lesson intensive. They were following the YouTube video. But he gave me the drawing he was working on because I said I liked it and he wanted me to have it and then he showed me his sketchbook. He gave me a sketchbook tour. It looked so good. But anyway, that's off topic. The sixth graders, one of them found out that like I volunteered in her first classroom, which basically meant she was 10 months old because <laughs> my mom taught that class. And she's looking at me and she's looking at me she goes you don't look like your mom you look like insert random name here and I'm like I have no idea who the hell that is and she goes oh it's some 11 year old I know and I'm like oh an 11 year old you say <laughs> so yeah I, got, I made it out alive from the sixth grade classroom but not without insult <laughs> Anyway, it was so fun. It was a lot of fun. It was really cute. Uh, since we're talking about D&D, &D, my school actually has a D&D &D club and I'm a part of it. Oh, that's cool. I was a part of my high school's D&D &D club. It was a lot of fun. I, I miss it. At least then we had semi-regular scheduling, even if only we met for like an hour. But at least like, you know, and also like it never actually guaranteed people would show up. But I guess you can't really guarantee people will show up to anything, regardless of when you schedule in or outside of school. Anyway.
My feet are also, my feet and legs are also very sore from yesterday. I was walking around a lot. <laughs> and then I had to go to my actual job, which is an after-school counselor. So I was there from, what time did I clock in? I clocked in a little earlier than 7. This looks like a foot. I clocked in around 7, and then I stayed until 5.30. So I was there for a while. More than a while. I was there for a long time. With like half an hour break in between for lunch. We don't have a D&D club. Rip, though I am part of the board game club, and we do chess once a month. I used to be a part of a chess club in middle school, but then a boy made fun of me and I quit. <laughs> I was growing out my uh, nails because I I was growing out my nails because I wanted to try something, and then he goes, "Wow, why are your nails so long?" And then I left. I never went back to club because <laughs> I thought he was I don't know. I forgot about that actually. <laughs> I forgot I quit chess club because I was scared to talk to a boy who in, who said my nails were too long. <laughs> You have seen photos of you, though? You don't look like a child. Children just suck at guessing age. Some of my kids guess I'm in my 40s, and some that I must be over 15 think you're fine. <laughs> well, thank you, but I don't think a 21-year-old should... I, I personally don't even think I look like a 21-year-old. My character is a rogue shifter. My friend is a bard. Ugh, I love playing bards. I really do. Although the DMs who, like, when you say, I play a little ditty or I sing a little song, and they're like, sing it. I get it. I am not confident enough for that. Every bar I've played, I've had them be instrumentalists only. Granted, I've only played one bard and I made another, but, you know, it doesn't matter. Hold on, I need to take a step back from this man. Yeah, that hand is gargantuan, and then his legs are so small. That arm is huge! Wait a minute. I'm 27, turn 28 next May. <laughs> I'm 27, and only now I pass for 16 to 18. Oh, that's so funny. We, we have similar experiences. I still just think about how Anastasia almost died in the first battle. Oh my god. Someone once thought I was 11. This was last year. <laughs> Like, homegirl got punted like a damn football. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, the Beach Day episode was a lot of fun, too. I was really expecting you... I'm a... For the people who were in that campaign, I'm a spoil. Originally, I threw a big crab monster at you because I thought it'd be, like, you'd kill the monster and then... You could have like a crab boil and that would finish out like a beach day. I thought that was pretty beach themed. But then I forgot that one of our players was a druid who has a very strong connection and love of animals. So you know how that worked out. It didn't work out very well. It nearly tore the party apart because one person was so insistent on saving the crab and almost did and the other really wanted to kill it. Well, I gave him wonky sneeze. My Sweden in the latest campaign joined. I joined is a fighter class with a cleric subclass. He's awesome and really fun to play. Aw. The beach day went from chill to total angst. You're right. What time is it? Oh, God, it's 5 o'clock. Damn. I think 
this is as far as I dare go. Like, I got the important parts of the refined sketch done. I still need to fix Sweden because he looks a little weird. Finland, I think, also needs some adjustment. But for the most part, everyone, everyone has their body. Congrats. Amazing disaster neatly caused the party to implode. I'm gonna go have to laundry to do. Okay, see you later. You still wanna continue that fandom smear away? I miss them. I miss everybody. And I was so excited too, because I had like all these maps and character tokens set up for wait. No, we did do that campaign. Never mind. Bye bye, Kit Cats. Have fun with laundry. I'm not gonna lie, a part of wait. This seems oddly familiar. This happened in our campaign as well. Sweden and Greece wanted to eat the crabs, but our Liechtenstein wanted intimidation checks, so we were kind of at a stalemate. Oh, that's really funny. A part of me thought about eating in Liechtenstein for D&D, but I wanted to try an OC, and magic seemed the way, to, way too complicated to do. No, I don't play magic builds. I just can't. I don't understand the spell slots. Although, with my character, I revamped for that Norse mythology themed campaign. She's a paladin, her, what's her name? Edris Starcatcher. Edris is a paladin and I know paladins learn spells and in fact I gave her spells so I'm gonna have to learn how to use spell slots. I really just don't understand. The crabs happened in our campaign as well. Sweden and Greece wanted to, oh, wait. Ao? <laughs> I thought you just, yeah, you already said that. What happened? I'd like to sound scarce if you pick up crab. <laughs> Oh, Nora doesn't have legs. Nora's the only one who doesn't have le Whatever. I'll give them to him later. Like, she's trying to intimidate Sweden and Greece not to eat them. That's so funny. Okay, I know character RP is, like, a thing, but character RP, but it's D&D, &D, is such a funny concept, actually. My first character was a bard. Hell yeah, mine was too, man. Wait. Are there two routes when it comes to character creation for queer people? Is it, is it, is it bard or rogue only? Is that what it is? Hold on, I see something wrong with Finland's body. And it's this arm. Oh wait, no, I like, I like the bicep. I'm gonna delete that. That one can live. She was a druid class and had animal talk. Ooh. I dove in head first. Also, wait till Anastasia. Will Anastasia. Wait. Also, wait, will Anastasia so magic late? What? <laughs> what? Okay, well. I think that's going to be it for stream. can't believe I made it to this one without getting too tired. Like, I'm not really tired. But yeah, I'm done with this. I'm going to refine everybody a little bit more. Actually, like, finish the bodies. And then maybe slap a little bit of color on it, but not a lot. Uh, but yeah, that is it. I will see you all next week. We'll do another set of these. Maybe less characters, because holy god. Jesus. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh, perfect timing. I can end the stream at this god-awful song. Anyway, yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, I will see you next week. We'll do the women. Who did we say? Hungry Vietnam and Seychelles? Yeah. Hungry Vietnam and Seychelles is who we're going to be doing next week. I'll make, I, I will make this a series that actually sounds like a lot of fun. Don't forget tallest destroy. Okay, but hear me out. This looks hilarious. It makes you question, is Denmark taller than Sweden? Or are they the same height? It makes you speculate. I think it's funny. Although you do have a point, I think it would make more sense. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. See you guys later next week. With When I come with the women, I'll come drawing women. Thank you. Bye-bye. Au revoir. Sayonara. Not sayonara. What's the other way to say? Whatever. Bye. And mwah.